Hello, hello, hello. And welcome to my channel. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here and wait for people to come in. If you are watching this as a um as the if you watch rewatching this, welcome, welcome. If this is not live anymore, come on and still watch it because I have a lot on this video I want to show you. Hello. Hey, Sonya. Hey, hey. I'm sorry I'm a little late, y'all. I did. Something came up. So I know I had put on my, my um page that I was going to be coming on an hour ago. So I'm an hour late. It's my first time ever being an hour late. So I apologize for you. I had a lot going on today. I thought I was ready, but the girl wasn't ready. Okay. The girl wasn't ready. Hey. Hey, Pamela. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Kendra. Hey, Distance by Design. Oh, Diane. I mean, I'm all over. Designs by D <laughs> Diane. I had you all messed up. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on my um site that I'm on live right now. But for those of y'all, that is going to be up. It's going to stay up. So if y'all are re-watching it, please stay on. I know this is live, but there's going to be a lot of information on this uh video. So please keep watching if you're not watching the live. This is just for people that's going to be coming on after we shut down, y'all. Sorry. This is live right now, but this will stay up, so you can be uh, people will be watching it after the live is over. And I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be submitting a lot of shirts today, y'all. So it's gonna be pretty fun. So like, those are interested in sublimation, please stay tuned and watch and watch and ask all the questions you want. So for everybody that's going to be rewatching this live, the questions might be answered if you ask them for them. Can you hear me good? I tried to do those little, um, let me see something. I have my super chat on here, so I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to use the super chat stuff. So we're going to see how they work. I can be able to put y'all post up, like the highlight it or whatever. I'm still learning the super chat. So if y'all know about super chat, explain it to me if y'all want to. But I got super chat on this video. So I put I can be able to post y'all if y'all asking a question. I can highlight it across the screen. I don't know if I can do it on my phone or not. I think I probably could just do it on my computer. I'm not sure. So if y'all know about super chat, go ahead and do what y'all can. Let's see. Okay. I'm not gonna see y'all comments now. Okay, there you go. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Yonda. Hey, Shirley. Hey, uh, Phyllis. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop procrastinating. Let me put this on my site real quick. YouTube, YouTube. Google takes three percent of your cash. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I know about that, um, Joanna. But how do I have y'all? post y'all um comments and stuff hey hey so uh hey so deep design so deep design hey lisa let me go ahead and put this in my sorry my computer i forgot to shut my phone off y'all i'm up here rushing trying to get on here and i forgot to shut my phone off so somebody might call me it's not gonna um it's going, my, it's going to hang up. I mean, it's not going to hang up, but just stay on stay on hold until I come back to y'all. Because I forgot to turn my phone off. And I don't want to do it now because I might hang up on y'all. So, be patient with me, y'all. See, my computer's still not working, y'all. I know y'all been wanting me to do that bag video, but my computer's still not working. It's not letting me do videos. Like, right now, I cannot see myself on Facebook. My video I'm doing right now, I can't see it. I can share it, but I can't see I can't see it on Facebook. So, I, the only way I could do that video for about the bags is be, to be on my computer because it's like a... um. I had to show you on this website. And I really can't show you on my website on this phone. So if y'all want me to do it on my phone, I could try to do it. But it's not going to be good as it will be if I do it on my computer. Everybody been asking me about that, um, how, to, how I make those bags. And I told y'all I was going to do that when I had 100,000 subscribers. I'm over 100,000 subscribers. Hey, thank y'all. Thank y'all. But it's hard. I cannot do that video um, on my phone. And my computer is... YouTube on my computer is not working right now. 
So it's up to y'all if y'all want to do it or not. I'm trying to copy this to the Facebook group. Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. If y'all not invite, if y'all not a member, please come and join Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. And just be patient with me. Just go ahead and invite yourself, and then just inbox me on my Charmaine Galloway page so I can go ahead and submit it. Because I have to go through all of those people, make sure they're cool to um, come along with us. Let me think what I'm doing. Okay, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube Facebook. Today we are going to be subbing on some shirts. I have a lot of things to sub on. I'm going to be subbing on a couple shirts, some for my son, some for my orders. And also I'm going to be subbing on some two bibs that I personalized with my, um, these set of twins I have in my daycare. Their birthday was today, but I had some bibs I was going to personalize for them. So I got to do that. I have to do some shirts for my orders that has got to go out tomorrow. And I also have to do, I'm going to do my son two shirts because I found some cool stuff on YouTube. On, um, on Google for him. He loved Gucci stuff. So, yes, it's just my son. I'm not selling it. It's my son. And then the, the bibs that I'm doing with the um the, the designer stuff on, I'm not selling it. I'm giving it away as gifts. So, no, I'm not selling this Gucci stuff. But it's so cute. And kids, my son think he rich because he got Gucci shirts on that I made. So, he think he cool. He's like, my rich. Only rich people can wear these shirts. I'm like, you right, son. You right. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see if this is gonna work on my if I post this, will it show up? Okay, show up on my on my group, but it's not showing up on my computer. So whatever. I just put the um um the link on my group so they know that we are live right now. So go ahead and check out my um if you're new to this page, please say virgin so we can say so we can welcome you to our page. We have 128 people on right now. Thank you for coming on and joining us on this holiday weekend. I'm at home all day weekend working. I'm not going to get nothing to eat. I might do something. I don't cook, y'all. I don't cook, so Something's going to happen. I got to eat. I like to go out to eat. I don't have time to cook because I'd be doing too much. So, yeah, that's just that's my excuse. I can cook, but I just don't. Hey, Sherry. Welcome, Sherry. She's a virgin. Hey, welcome to our channel. Thanks for joining us. We have so much fun on this channel. Please subscribe. I do sublimation. I do embroidery. I'm trying to put my pitch out there, right? <laughs> I do everything. So, just come on and join us. I, I try to go live once a week, but I've been doing a lot of lives lately, y'all. And I got a secret to tell y'all. At this live, I'm doing another live. <laughs> but I'm going to do the sublimation. I'm going to come back and show you what I think. What, what it, am I going to get that new Cricut machine? Hmm. Well, if y'all want to know, y'all got to come back. But I'm also going to show you all the Cricut machines that I have already. So after this live, give me 15 minutes to calm down. And I'll be back to doing another live about all about Cricut. And if I'm going to get that new machine. I bet y'all want to know, don't y'all? Hmm. Well, y'all got to come to that live and see. She said, Charmaine, where do you get your sublimation shirts from? I get my I don't get my sublimation shirts from Michaels. Um, well, I'm not, it's a lie. I do use a lot of like today I'm going to be using um some some cricket shirts. I only get when well, they don't come from Michaels, they come from Cricket because Cricket be having a lot of good sales on their shirts and they really sub really good. So it's gonna be on my live too. And then my, after this one, I'm gonna do a live about what I think about cricket stuff. I'm not affiliated with cricket. I don't get paid by cricket, but I have a lot of cricket stuff in my house. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what I think about cricket. Hey, Virgin. Let's see another Virgin. Let me see who, what your name was. Hey, Kendra. Pamela said, welcome all the Virgins. We happy to hear y'all. See y'all here. Appreciate y'all for coming. Subscribe to the channel. Hey, Ray. Regina. That, welcome. Hey, Vicky. Welcome. Hey, Flower. Welcome. Hey, Tamika. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And everybody else, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. No, I can't sing. Let me... Okay, y'all know I'll be goofy on this channel. I have fun. Um, and I do a lot of stuff. So, with that being said, y'all, let me show y'all what, what I've been working on first. I'm going to show y'all what this is how this video is going to go. I'm going to show you what I've been working on. Then I'm going to be subbing on these shirts while my heat press is heating up right now. I'm going to show y'all what I've been working on lately. Y'all know I'm into embroidery. I've been doing a lot of different um tutus lately, and I'm so proud of the, I'm so proud of these tutus. I have a disclaimer. I do talk fast, so sorry, I can't help it. Let me turn my some more lights on. I think I'm missing a light. Let me see. Just trying to see if I got going on here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let me show y'all what I've been working on. First time, hey, she want to say virgin. Hey, <laughs> Troy Lynn. <laughs> We're just being funny here. She just trying. She saying she ain't no virgin on this player. Um, this is a shirt that I made. This is a sample I made for my 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 children boutique. It is called um. A ray of sunshine after my granddaughter that, that I lost. Um, it's called a ray of sunshine. So I've been making a lot of clothes that I can't make for her. I make 
kid clothes for other kids. So um, this is um, a sample shirt. It's just like I, I show you how to make samples. I have a, it's just basically some fabric, so you don't have to worry, worry about wasting a shirt or someone that don't want wear, wear this shirt. Hey Stephanie, welcome, welcome. Um, so yep, this is the LOL doll, and this is the um, the um, skirt to go with it. Okay, I love making tutus. Okay, this is one of them. Then I made another one. Ice cream right here. Number two, just I made this. This is not a sample. This is a shirt. So this is a, this is a onesie. Okay, so that's one shirt, and it goes. Look at that. Oh, all that. This is all glitter, y'all. This is all glitter. Um, vinyl HTV. But you um, you can use this for applique. Okay, this is all glitter. I love using glitter. I love this is this is this is fabric right here, but this is all glitter. If y'all wanna know how to do applique, please check out my channel. I have all kinds of videos on how to do applique on your embroidery machine. This is glitter right here, but this is all thread. If y'all know about embroidery, oh my god, y'all gotta get hip to it. This is my other skirt to go with that ice cream shirt. Okay. And then I made this. Um, this is another sample. This is a fabric right here. This is all fabric. This is fabric right here. Her hair is fabric, her skin is fabric. If you can see that, this is fabric in here. And that's fabric. And then I made the tutu socks to go with it, y'all. This is the order right here. So I gotta put this. I just made this because I want to put it, make a sample on my um shop. So I'm gonna take a picture of these. And then I'm gonna go ahead and send these to my lady. So if you're watching this, honey, I got your socks together. She said she wanted the poppy colors. Um, socks. I gotta get the socks though, too. They do, they do come with the socks, but these are um detachable ruffles to put on socks, okay? So this is the poppy shirt she has. So I just made one so I can be able to put it on my site so I can sell it. And I can also make a tutu that color too. Okay, and this is the last one, girl. I love her, girl. Why? I was so scared to do her because I was scared that I was gonna mess the colors up. Cause you know, green is not my favorite color. So I thought it was gonna look wasn't gonna look right, but she is beautiful. This is this is um fabric. This is all fabric. This is glitter right here. HTV. This is all fabric. This is the glitter. Oh, this this is holographic. This is holographic, y'all. Look at that. Thank you, Dimps, my girl. So, yep, ain't she beautiful, girl? I was so scared to do her because I was just like, green, yellow, is it going to look right? And I was going to do gold first, then the, the tutu. I couldn't find a gold tutu. I mean, this is yellow, but I was just going to do gold glitter. They didn't match. It was just a different color shade of gold. So, I said, let me go ahead and put a green up there. I don't like green, but, yeah. I tried to make the colors come out on the doggone skirt. I still got to make a bow for it, though, too, but... It's going to be just like that for right now. So this is what I've been working on, y'all. I've been working on tutus and working on these shirts so I can go ahead and sell these on my site, Array of Sunshine um, 2020 on Etsy, okay? I love making tutus. They are so much fun. And I made this little tiny one. This is for a newborn. I have a shirt for this one already, but I didn't even bring it out to show y'all. It's say too cute. I should have had that on here because y'all can see that shirt. It is too cute. Okay, so today, ah, oh, I have my heat press on. It's not even warm up, y'all. Oh, my God. Let me go ahead and put this phone up so I can turn my heat press on because I thought it was warming up. And I forgot when I went out of town, I turned it off. I unplugged it. So let me go into this table and get, um, plug it up real quick. Hold on one second. Let me sit y'all over here. Let me sit y'all right here. I'm going to look at the wall for one second because I got to plug this, this up real quick. Hold on. Dang, I forgot that I have it plugged in. I thought I was gonna be ready for y'all. Okay, sorry about that. Now I was now I was warming up. I forgot I went. I girl, I just left from out of, I went to Florida for the weekend. And I turned. I unplugged everything, so I won't have no fire or nothing when I came back. And I thought that thing was heating up, so I ain't ready. So we can talk a little bit before, so that can get warmed up. Okay, but let me show y'all the designs I'm going to be doing today and how I got the designs. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna hold my phone in my hand because it's much better. And the reason why it took me so long because my phone had to be charged and I had to eat, y'all, because y'all know y'all be keeping me hostage on this dang on video, on this live when I come on here with y'all. So I got to make sure I'm good and full. And my phone is charged up. So that's why I was late, y'all. So please forgive me for my late, my lateness. Who now I'm at a break because I had to bend over the plug that thing. Look at my shirt, y'all. I made this shirt. This is basically sublimation on cotton shirt on top of glitter. White glitter, okay? Now, this shirt is old. So, y'all want to know how stuff wash up in, like, the glitter? This is, like I said, this is white glitter HTV under this, okay? And on top of this is sublimation. This is all vinyl right here. So, if y'all want to know how this wash up, look how good this is. This is, I had this for over a year now. And it washes so good. No peeling, no nothing. So, if y'all, people, somebody asked me that, um, because I had posted this on my Facebook group. And I said, this is what I, I made this shirt. And they said, how does it wash? 
Like I said, this shirt is like a year old, okay? I, this is one of my first shirts I made when I started my channel. So I've been doing this for like a couple, about almost two years now. But so I say it's about a year old. And it's, it, I mean, you can feel the touch. You can feel the glitter on here. But it's not peeling. It looks really good, y'all. So, yes, go ahead and get those shirts knocked out. I got a video on how I did this shirt on my channel. So please check that out. Yes, I'm a Nighthawk. I'll be up all night. It's not late, though, y'all. I did a good job. Today, I did a good video. Usually, I'll be doing videos starting at 9 o'clock at night. So, let me get on this video and get it over with. I'm trying to get these orders out the way. And then tomorrow, I'm going to do an, um, I got to put the shelf up, y'all. Because down here is all my stuff, my equipment that I have. But I also have my deep, my dark t-shirts and stuff down here. I don't have, and I have my fabric. I got everything down here. Blanks and stuff is full. My basement is full. I will give y'all like a, a 360 or whatever. But it's kind of crowded. It's not junky. It's crowded. Okay, because I've been working, working. I ain't going to say it's junky. It's just stuff everywhere because it's crowded because I've been working. Yes, remember that video. Oh, about the video that how I changed. I was in my little my little bedroom. My second, my third bedroom I was in that bedroom. But that room was like, I don't know how many feet that could be. Probably about 12 feet. 12 foot room. I don't know, girl. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Trying to see if I'm walking. But this room is, I'm going to give y'all a little bit. It's long. But see, I got everything on that wall right there. I got like like shelves against the wall. And um, drawers against the wall. That's all blank stuff. T-shirts cups mugs that i do or whatever and i still have to see that door back there washing machine and dryer back there too y'all right but it's most stuff back there stacked up on my stuff i got a lot of stuff in this whole basement okay and i come behind here i got my stuff don't forget after i get off this live i'm going to be doing a live on my cricket machines y'all and i'm gonna let y'all know if i'm getting a new machine y'all i got seven cricket machines can y'all tell me what i got y'all know so i'm just doing a little thing i got stuff all over but then my heat presses back there so, yeah, this is my room, and there's a lot of stuff going on because there are my orders over there on that ironing board. And there's my baby right there. I love my six needle. I love my six needle. So, um, yeah, this is my room. Ooh, this stuff on the, everything on the floor is in containers, okay? There's nothing in the floor. It's on, it's on containers. Hey, damn, thank you. And then here's my babies in front of me on my embroidery machines. But here's my um big baby. Excuse the iron right there. The iron is not on, but it's there because I use that when I be sewing. Um, That's my um big... and uh. My, my big, <laughs> what is that darn thing? Sublimation machine, printer. There are my babies right there. Embroidery, embroidery, embroidery. Those are the babies, and that's the mama right there. She pushed them things out. No. And all this stuff you see under here, this is all buckets and buckets of fabric. Fabric right there, fabric right here. They spilling out the buckets, y'all. Spilling out the buckets. I got to stop buying fabric. Fabric everywhere. Okay. So, yes, that's my 360. If you want to see a, a, a big tour on that, check out my video. I have a tour of my whole basement showing you from how I came from my bedroom to the basement. And now what I was saying, y'all, my like I said, I'm talking because my heat press is getting, is getting warmed up for my shirts. And then I'll be ready. I print everything out. I'm ready for y'all. But I'm going to still show y'all the size of everything, that I, how I got them sizes and everything, the designs I have. But the thing I was going to say is that... um. The room upstairs is now being used as my t-shirts blanks for my kids um store. Okay. So I got this shelf from Amazon. I got it. I was watching somebody's video and they showed Ted they got it from Amazon. I'm gonna put that link above too to show you these shelves. It's so it's like a rack and you just put it together like um like cubes and it's metal and you put it together. And I was like, oh that's so sweet. So I, I bought it on Amazon. I came, so I'm gonna put that together probably tomorrow. I might do a video. Do if y'all wanna see that video, let me know. And I can put it together while I'm doing a live tomorrow. Let me know. I can do that tomorrow. And I'm going to put all my kids' shirts in there. But since I'm overflowing with shirts of adult shirts, I might, if I have enough, I might just put some adult shirts up there too because I have, I have like, oh my God. I got these filled with shirts, these white things filled with shirts. Well, not those, but the ones over there, they white. And I still got buckets of shirts over there. So that's one thing I need to tell y'all. Don't buy so much inventory because you might not sell it. I mean, I'm, I'm a growing business and I got so much stuff, but I bought it because I just want to make sure I have, when I get the orders, I have it. But now, I'm from now on, when I get orders, I'm just going to um start just ordering. So, give when Etsy Pay said you take about five or seven days to do an order or whatever, then you have enough time to um, buy them because Jiffy, Jiffy shirts um, ship really quick. So, now I'm just going to start just buying them when I need them because I be having all these orders and I don't have the sizes. I'm like, how do I not have the size? Like, I be sending out the size that I need and then I can't I got orders right now, and I needed a um a two X. I have a lot of three X's because I think everybody always wanted the big shirts. Now I can't sell them, so it's like I'm gonna stop doing that. So I'm just giving myself enough time to order from Jiffy Ship shirts when I get an order, so I can just buy them when they ask for them. Because girl, your girl got so many T-shirts. I just want to start selling them myself to people that need them. But as soon as I sell them, I'm gonna need them. So I'm just hold on to them. I got a lot of shirts, y'all. I have a whole lot of shirts. But anyway, I love this shirt. This is so cute. 
But yeah, I'm going to get that room situated for all my blanks up there. And then also in that room, I have everything set up for when I go on my vendors tables. I can't see what y'all saying right now. So give me a second. I will go back and look at y'all post. So go ahead and leave post it. But I'll go back and look because I'm talking right now. And I don't want to forget what I'm saying because I only got one track mine. No, I'm just playing. Um, So yeah, that room upstairs was for... um. If, if First it was my dog on... Um, it was, a, it was my craft room. Then it changed to my dog room. No, first it was my son's gaming room. Then it changed to my craft room. I was like, boy, you got to get out. I got to get use a craft I need, I need a craft room ASAP. So I used that room because my basement was nice and good with furniture and stuff in it. But I ain't got no company like that. So I said, forget it. I sold my furniture and I brought my my she shit down here and I love it. And then it um now it's my my um lab. It's like, it's like a room for all my blanks, okay? My um inventory room. So right now I got all the stuff just stacked on in them little cubes I got from Dollar Tree, like them little cl 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 them, them cubes that you can fold down. They just stack on top of each other, looking a hot mess. But I know had no other idea. But then I seen this, I was like, yes, that'd be a great idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff together. I wanna show y'all before and after too. So yeah, I'm gonna do a video tomorrow, show y'all the before and after of how um it's going, how it looked now and how it's gonna look. And I, like I said, I have my stuff that I do, my vendor tables and stuff. I go on vendor tables and I have my, my containers set and ready. So when I'm ready to go out, I can let, I can look and see what I have. So if I'm short on something, I can go ahead and make some stuff. Like I make, I do a lot of mugs. I do a lot of tumblers. I do like bangles and stuff that I take the vendor's table with. The people really like that stuff. The banger, the, my, my numbers, let me slow down, Charmaine, slow down. My number one sellers here in my state, I live in Toledo, Ohio, are my bangles, my tumblers, my mugs. I don't take shirts and nothing like that with me. I take the stuff like that. So I can put in, oh, my journals, my calendars. What else I got? I'm trying to think what else I have in those containers. And my also my author. I'm gonna do a video on my books too. Let me know if y'all want to see it live on my books. I got them right here. I have I got like I wrote like 12 books and some children books and a poetry book. So I'm gonna do a live on that about telling y'all discussing discussing to y'all about my books. The people been asking me about the books, so I was gonna just go do a live on that too. So I got a lot of lives coming up, y'all. Um, what else I sell a lot of? My 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 novels, my journals. Tumblers, bangles. I think that's it, y'all. My bags. I sell a lot of my bags too. I have the tote bags and I have the um the um luggage bags. I sell those too. That's pretty. I take my dog on. We do on my side now. This is nice. Got my three. I take three tables, y'all. I have three tables worth of stuff. Okay, and then I had. I was selling a lot of masks too, before. And I took three tables and my tent and two in a chair. My daughter come and help me. We be on and popping. And every time I go out, I sell out. Okay, so yes, we do have vendor tables here. Bangles, yep, I have bangles. The, the metal bangles, I make my own bangles. And I also make the charms that go with them. Okay, so I do have bangles. She said, was it bangles? Yes, I have bangles. So check out, I have a video on how to make bangles also and how to make the little charms in there too with the with the pictures in there. I got a video on all that too. Thank you, Dimps. You know I talk fast, girl. You know I talk fast. Um, Let's see what y'all was saying because y'all was saying a lot of stuff. Do you rap? Do you rap that? them in plastic bags for your shirts shopping bags when i um for my shirts i have bags um if you look in, under any of my videos you will see i have all the stuff that i use i put them under my videos so yes i have shirt bags and i also have shopping bags to put my stuff in very professional and i also have thank you cards so everything i sh it should be under my um in my all of my links are my amazon links will be under all of my videos and it will be under the video too after i'm done with the video i'll put it under this video but yes i'm very professional i make sure i have my shirt bags and i have my um my my purple bags because I do have my color is purple, so I have those bags. And then when I ship stuff out, I have the the Miller purple Miller. Okay, let me see what y'all saying. Do you okay? Let me see. Your group has helped me. Oh, thank you. Breaking free. She said she said your group has worked um has helped her. I don't know how I'm supposed to be able to be able to put y'all comments up across the screen maybe i just put my my um computer because i i'm on um i have the super chats or whatever so i don't know what i'm doing wrong I'm, i think i got to be on my computer to do that because i can be able to highlight your 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 um post and why you saying why you asking me so i don't have to read by so everybody can see it but i'm new to just now I'm, I'm new to super chat so just bear with me i need coffee cup for supplementation do you have a good price to order i need coffee cups uh, yeah i go to kindy go to kindy.com and ask for um Chloe Smith, and she will give you a good deal. That's where I get all my coffee, my coffee cups from. They're reliable. They're good cups, okay? You only got to worry about them. They're really nice. So, condi.com or dietran.com is the same place. And go to her, ask for Chloe Smith, and she'll give you a discount. Just say my name, Charmaine Galloway. What I do as I keep mine in plastic. 
Do you the paper that lady sent you for your shirt? Did you? Did you the paper that lady sent you? Did I use? I'm going to use it today, y'all. Yeah, somebody sent me. I'm doing the um. I'm finally getting to my today is supposed to be today Sunday, right? Supposed to be uh Sunday. I can't think of what I used to call this um mails mails. What is it called? Fun mail Sunday. Fan mail Sunday. So I usually do on Sundays. I got to get my dates together, y'all, because I tell y'all I'm going to be on here. Now, I might not be able to be on here, but I got to get that together. I want to be able to have set times where I'm going to be. Not times, but days I'm going to be on here because usually I was doing a fan mail Sunday. So you can go ahead and send me all the stuff. Send me some stuff that you want me to um review and to use over on a tutorial or whatever. So today is going to be sublimation, but I am going to be using this paper that somebody sent to me so I can review them. I didn't pay for it, so they sent it to me for free and I'm going to review them. So if y'all want to send me stuff that I can review or show off, if you want to make me send me a shirt and I can wear it so I can hook you, so I can hopefully get you some customers because I do have over 100,000 subscribers to y'all. Thank you. So people are watching. So I can go ahead and show off your little stuff that you send me. And I can also show. Um, I can also do a tutorial or review on the things that you sent me. Now today, I will be doing a um review on this paper I have, and she sent it to me a while ago. So I probably well, not that long, not even not a month, ago, not even over a month. But she sent me this paper, sub buddy. So if y'all know sub buddies, you can go ahead and tag her in this video because I will be doing a tutorial on this paper. Okay, I already printed it out. It's right here. This is her paper right here. I'm. This is gonna be two shirts. This is gonna be one shirt for my son, one shirt for my son, and I'm using her paper. As you can see, this is her paper because her paper is pink. On the back of her paper, it's pink, okay? So just to know that I'm going to be subbing on this with her paper, Sub Buddies. You get a hug. It says 100 sheets, fast drying, 95 to 98 uh, transfer rate, okay? 120 GMS, okay? Hey, best unit crew. Um, So this is 11 by 17. She know I love 11 by 17, so that's why I know she brought it because uh, somebody else bought me some... She brought me some paper. It was 8 by 11. I tried to use it, so I do have a review on that paper. Something happened. I don't remember what happened. I think my machine was ate it up or something like that. I don't know, but I did do a review. I tried. It didn't work for me. Um, I'm, uh, I was thinking about mm, giving it away so people can use it that will use it because I don't use 8 and a half by 11. I don't want it to go to waste. I'm going to use it one day, but if I might do a giveaway on that paper so you can try it out and just use it because I don't want it to go. I just don't want it to be sitting around. I don't use 8 and a half by 11. I always do big things. And even though I do small things, I still use 11 by 17 paper, y'all. I just don't use 8. She bought me. She gave me a whole pack of paper. Let me show y'all her paper. I'm not saying nothing wrong with the paper. Oh, excuse my carpet. My, my um vacuum cleaner is it's broke. And it's in the shop right now. So I have I have uh, three of all over my carpet, okay? So, yeah, this is the paper that she sent me. I'm not saying anything wrong with this paper. It's okay. I just said I didn't have a, I had an issue with it going through my printer, okay? So, um, this is her. Um, and so I did, I, I did a review on this, but it didn't work for me. My printer was acting goofy that day. And I don't, I really use 8.5 by 11. So, I haven't had a chance to do another review on it because I didn't, I haven't printed out anything this small yet, okay? So, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway on this so somebody can use it, okay? Okay, so let me go ahead and show y'all this. I'm going to be subbing this. Paper is from her sub buddies sub buddies okay but this paper is this is um our this is for order so I want to make sure I try this first before I give it put on the order not saying nothing wrong with it but somebody's buying this shirt for me so this is a shirt that I have to do today if you're watching thank you for your business um and this shirt I gotta do today if you're watching thank you for your business we're gonna be subbing your shirts today okay so these two are orders and this shirt this is right here gonna be a bib. Um, I got one more I want to print out. I'm gonna do this on a bib that I'm gonna be making for these twins, and I have another one I want to print out. I didn't print that out yet, so I'll probably do that. So all this today I'm going to be subbing, okay? So y'all stay tuned because we got to get the subbing. Okay, let me show y'all how I did it. Why I'm how I did it. So I'm gonna show y'all how how I did everything. I work on sublimation. I mean, I'm, I work I work on um girls slow down. I work with silhouettes, okay? So. This is the design I made on here. They always use 11 by 17 paper. If you can see, if you go over here in silhouette, you will see that this is size 11 by 17 paper right here, okay? You can use silhouette without buying the machine. I do not use my, my Cameo, okay? I done had it. I'll probably use a couple times for a video to show y'all how to use it, but I can't cut with that thing. I'm used to cutting with Cricut, okay? And I've been doing a lot of sublimation, so I haven't really been cutting with Cricut either, but I do have some seven shirts that I have to do. And I'm thinking about either doing transfer paper or because I because I know vinyl is gonna be crazy. I gotta do a um a seven shirt of those um some things called those um shark baby sharks girl and you know my, your girl not really cool with um, um layering and they got you gotta layer the eyes the nose all that kind of crap. I ain't trying to do that. So I might just use transfer or I might use my easy subly. 
I never even used that before, y'all. So whoever used Easy Subly, let me know how that works. Easy Subly is basically like a transfer sheet, and it's supposed to be easier to work with, with without using the other transfer sheet because it's somewhere it's different kind of transfer sheets. You can just basically instead of using glitter vinyl, you put on some paper, print, cut it out, and then you just go ahead and put it on the shirt. But Easy Subly supposed to be different, so I might use Easy Subly or transfer paper, or I might layer it. But this could be my last resort. I do not want to layer this dog on shirts because layering is not my cup of tea. What is a curio machine? No, I do not. She said, do I have a curio? That's another first time asking me. I'm sorry. I know I seen it earlier, but I'm like, what is that? It's C-U-R-I-O, curio, curl. I use transfer for baby sharks. You did? Girl, Pamela, I'm thinking about using um uh, transfer because I do not want to um put all, I do not want to layer seven shirts. I don't like layering. So I'm thinking about doing that. I'm thinking about doing transfer, but I want to try the easy subly though because I got a whole lot of that. And I got the big sheets, y'all. Y'all know, and I bought them because I like using, doing big images. So I got the 11 by 17 Easy Subly. Thank you, best you and the crew, girl. Thank you. She says she like my hair. It's old. Um, but yes, I want to try the Easy Subly. But I'm scared, y'all. Y'all don't think I'd be scared. I'd be scared of trying new things. I'd be so scared. Easy Subly, it seems like it's going to be scared. I just, I'm scared. I'd just be scared of trying new things. So I'd rather use that or the transfer. Because I did a transfer shirt, too. And they wash real too, but like it's for a birthday party. I'm doing this um, seven shirts for the um uh the sharks, baby sharks. So that's she, that's she bought this. She gonna send me, bring me the shirts. So that's cool. That's my cousin. But I still want to make sure it look good. So she's gonna bring me the shirts, and I'm gonna do them for. Her. Um. And I just charge her for putting this stuff on there. But yeah, that then that vinyl will be expensive because I gotta buy it's every other every one of them is different colors. And then, um, then you got to do the eyes, the black eyes, the white. There's just a lot of colors in there. It's going to be like four different colors for each baby shark. I'm like, uh, I think I'm going to do the transfer. So she said, real easy. It's real easy. Put, put you, what? But you still got to weed. Oh, you still got to weed out the, yeah, you still got to weed out the easy subject. Okay. I think I knew that, but that's, thanks for reminding me that. I'm going to try that, y'all. And I, I will do a video on show, showing y'all how to do the easy subject, but I know I'm going to goof up because I don't know what I'm doing. But you know, I go to YouTube and look at a couple videos first, and I might do a video because that's them shirts I not do until the tenth of June, so I might do that, y'all. She said she just got her um, mug press. Girl, I love it. So like, I'm doing another. If y'all hear me before, I'm doing a video after this video to talk about my all the cricket machines that I have. I have seven cricket machines, okay? So I'm gonna show y'all talk about those, about how those work, how I like them, and I'm also gonna tell y'all if I'm gonna get a new cricket. So please come back after this video. I only got 71 likes on here, y'all. I got 201 people watching. Please like this video. Go ahead and come out, like the video, and come back in. I'll wait. Posing. Thank you, 83. I got 210 people watching. What is the best size paper for seven? I like seven, 11 by 17. Cause I, I like the, I like the sub big. I like big things, okay? I'm gonna be liking the sub to do those small things. I would not buy eight and a half by 11 paper, but eight and a half by 11 could be cool because I do like a lot of subbing on, um, I like today I got some passports that need to be done. Passport covers and passport tags. I mean, luggage tags. Those are small and you don't really want to use big paper, but I do anyway, but I don't like changing my, my printer. Like I have, I'm using this printer right here. So every time I change my paper, I got to change my settings. I got to change, make this, bring this out, make it smaller, change my settings in here and also change my settings in my computer. So I just keep my settings on 11 by 13, 11 by 17. I'm good. So here's my 11, 11 by 17 paper right here. Hold on. 11 by 17 paper right here. I right had to break everything down because I, I got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of 11 by 17 by paper and also the 13 by 19, okay? I do have um the, the 7, uh, what is this? 7711 um, Epson 7720, okay? You can use both of these as in, um as your sublimation printers, but I use this as regular printer with my, um what kind of pigment ink in there? But um you can, it don't matter which one you use. They're both the same. They both print out big 13 by 19 okay but right now they're kind of expensive when i bought them it was a hundred dollars okay they're the same thing only thing different they just got two shelves just got two um trays for your paper okay and then plus i got the big boy over here i use it but i haven't used it a lot because i still use my little babies okay this one right here print out i had to write it down y'all because i know i don't remember it's the 24 by 17 i think that's as big as it print out <laughs> do not flip i think it's 24 by 17 the biggest maybe it's 28 but I use 24 by 17 paper, 24 wide paper. Excuse my arm, y'all. It's just there because I went on the floor. Because every time I put on the floor, it spills the water out. So that's why it's right there. Okay. Well, the water, you know, I tip it over on accident. So 
So that's all I want to show y'all. I know y'all was going to ask me about my sublimation, my printers. I want to show y'all that and get it out the way. My heat presses are over there. I use Heat Press Nation 16 by 24. And then I have a 15 by 15. The 15 by 15. Upper left of the video. The 15 by 15. I still I still got only 114 people liking this video. And I got 20 people watching. The 15 by 15 was cool when I first started. I bought it because I just wanted to see if I was going to like all this stuff. But girl, my knuckles was getting burnt. Like you keep on getting your hand hit on that on that that little press press. People always want to say, "What kind of press should I get?" It's up to you. They're expensive, so go buy what you can afford, girl. I started off with that small one, and that burned my knuckles. So now I got to slide out, so I can be a slide it in and out. So I'm gonna worry about hitting my knuckles, okay? But I like to do big shirts. I do four, four X's and stuff, and that 15 by 15 was struggle. So if you want to do big shirts, which is the big money, because people like you know wear big size clothes, large size clothes, get that big thing and just go ahead and just. Save up for it. I bought it for myself for Christmas, and I love it, okay? I still use my small one. Now, now that I do applique on little baby stuff, I now I use my, um, but I haven't used that machine in so long. My small one, what I'm talking about, let me show y'all what I'm talking about. Why is it not heated up yet? It should be heated up right now. These are shirts that I'm going to be using today. They are polyester. It says 385. Why didn't it beep? Oh, it's only on 300. So, I got to wait till it get to 385, and then we'll be ready to um, go ahead and. Go ahead and work it. This is a small one, so I still use this as applique and then to seal my patches when I'm done using patches when I embroider patches, okay? We're going to be doing one, two, we're going to do like four shirts today, y'all. Four shirts. I was showing y'all my stuff that I've already done, my little shirts and my little tutus that I've done. Okay, so let's get on, show you what I got going on on here. I just burnt my hand knuckle. Yes, girl, yes. I'm telling you, that thing ain't no joke. Better put your heat gloves on. But I couldn't stand wearing them thick gloves. Let me see what y'all saying real quick. I don't know. Live chat. Okay, let me see. I just burned my knuckles. Hello, Lana. Do you recommend Cricut mug press or air fryer? Okay, y'all. I can't answer that question right now. Well, I answer because you might not be, but I'm going to do a live after this video to explain to you about the all my Cricut things and the things that I have. So I can still answer your question now, though, since you might not be here. I like both of them, but I love, love, love the Cricut maker. But I got my reasons for that. I got my reasons for that, okay? So, yes, I'm doing a live after this video, so stay tuned so I can show y'all off all of my Cricut machines that I have and then what I recommend and if I'm going to get the new machine. Stay tuned. Um, I can't see my y'all post. Hold on. I'm going away. Okay, gaining knowledge but won't like the video. Gaining knowledge but won't like the video. It's okay, it's okay, y'all. Have you done the bleach? No, I put that on Tash. Tash, I, I'm, I'm tempted, y'all. Uh, I do. I, she said, did I do the bleach shirts yet? I'm tempted. I'm, I got the order. I went to JiffyShirts.com. She got the shirts. It's coming in. So, yes, I will be doing the shirts soon. So, be looking out for that video. They're so nice. So, I will be doing that soon. I'm just waiting on it to come. Hey, so what you know. I like that. Show, so what you know and craft what you can. Oh, I like that. Hey, hey, hey. What do you get? Let me see. Oh, why my stuff keep on disappearing? Stop! I gotta keep on tapping it. Um, where did you get your big printer from? I got it from. Oh, I wrote it down somewhere. Oh. Hmm. I wrote it down somewhere. Girl, I don't know where I get this stuff from. I thought I had it on my. I thought I had it right there because I wanted to make sure I had my warranty. I wrote it on my wall. You know, I see all my little. Uh, <laughs> I got all kinds of sticky notes everywhere, so I can know. But I don't know where I got it from, y'all. The lady from, is that her? Yeah, she got a group, and she, what is her group name? She told me about, told me she got a big printer. She, I don't got the big, she got the big, big one. And she, what's her name of her group? Wolfgang, she say Wolfgang, I think. But what's her name, y'all? Y'all know what I'm talking about. She got a big printer. She got her, she got her, um, a big old um storefront now. A warehouse. Cassandra. What's the name of her group? Y'all know. I know y'all know. Cassandra, yes. What's the name of her group on Facebook? Y'all be doing... I can't talk. Yeah, Blaine Scalore. Go to Blaine Scalore. She the one who referred me to this person that got me this... I got this printer from. Um, She got the big, big one. I got the the, the medium size one, I guess you're going to call it. Um, A lot of money. But it's worth it. Because the reason why I got this is not because I want to print that big. I don't want to, I know I can't print 20, I don't want to have nothing to print 24 inches by, but I use it because if you have a lot of shirts, you don't have to worry about printing out of one sheet with these machines right here. You can, you can print out like four or five shirts or more on this machine at one time. 
Okay? People are like, why you get the machine? Why you gonna be um printing that big? No. I don't print 24 inches wide, but I can when I want to make more than one shirt at one time. Girl, I did this one this one um dance group or whatever, and I love this machine because I had so much I can do it at one time instead of using one sheet, one sheet. Cause you only can this sheet right here, well this right here, this print right here, you're gonna do one shirt per sheet. This is 11, this is 11 by 17 right here. Okay. So you're gonna do one shirt per sheet. But with that machine, you can do a lot of sheets, more shirts, more shirts at once. Okay, that's the reason I bought it. And then you can, if you want to do rugs and stuff, um, supplementing rugs and stuff, that's gonna be a the good machine or uh, blankets or um, pillowcases. But you gotta make sure your heat press is big enough to cover that whole image unless you're gonna cut it and do it in half. Half. I don't like doing the stuff in half or whatever. So I never did that. But um, use that machine, and you can be able to do more than one item at a time. Like when I'm mad, when I, I got that when the mask was coming, I was supplementing masks. Girl, I did like twenty masks at a time lovely i loved it and the time go by fast you can make more money at you know make make your money girl make your money okay let me get on let me get on gone gone get on gone gone just like your live video thank you please like the video and subscribe to this channel please is that 24 yeah 24 inch i thought it was 28 but it might be 24 yeah it might be 24 i ordered one i ordered the bundle okay so this is what i did this is the shirt I'm gonna do for my son. It's two shirts. One shirt right here. This is this size right here. I'm gonna let y'all know the size and whatever. Eight and a half by eight and a half for my uh, uh, youth shirt. My son is 11. So it's gonna fit on his shirt. We're gonna sub this today. We're gonna show up sub this today. And then I'm gonna show y'all this one. I basically just, I got this image, girl, the whole image from Google. I Googled Gucci wallpaper and I found this shirt. I found this image and I'm not selling it. I'm getting it to my son. Okay. I found this. I found this background um, from somewhere else. I found this background. Maybe the background was from Google too. But then I just I found this shirt. This right here. This girl. This Mickey from, from a group. They was giving away stuff or whatever. Just giving away free files. I got this from a group. So then I just basically grouped these two together. So I put her on top of this wallpaper. Okay. Oh, thank you for the super chat. Oh my God, it's my first time. <laughs> I got a four ninety nine super chat. Thank you. And they don't tell you who your name is. Oh, the best. Oh, thank you, best unit crew. I guess it's a super chat, ain't it? <laughs> that is so cute. This is my first time I get one. Thank you. So she just sent me a $4.99 super chat. I appreciate it. It's my first one, girl. Oh, my God. I got to send you something because it's my first super chat. I'm about to cry now. <laughs> it showed up on my little screen. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but she got she gave me a super um super chat. Best you in the crew, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. Oh, let me stop. I'm still, girl, I got the girl voice in my <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So um, y'all get I get happy, happy. For, um, so this is, like I said, this is her. Um... I'm all messed up now. <laughs> oh, so I appreciate it. Um, so this is like I said, I got this from a group, and then I go ahead and I just went ahead and group this together, okay? So I'm gonna put this over here. Oh no, I'm not gonna use that. So this size of this is you are so welcome, love. Keep it. Thank you, the best unit crew. Um, okay, so this size, I'm gonna let you know what the size is. It's a eight by four by 12 by seven because that's the size of the bib the bib i'm gonna be using i'm basically um using this bib i'm i'm sewing this bib this is sublimation fabric i can sublimate on here because it's 100 percent polyester and i'm doing a video on that too y'all i got so many videos coming up but i'm going to be sewing this so what i'm doing is sublimate on the top first before i sew it together and then i'll sew it together after that but this part right here is just the flannel at the back of the bib okay i should have made a different color but i didn't i'm just doing this somebody i know i'm just gonna do it for them so i'm going to put this on the bib right here and i'm gonna put this on the bib okay for her boy she got a set of twins so a girl one and then a boy one okay so i measured it and i want to make sure it's big enough to cover that whole bib okay and like I said, I don't have a video coming up. I did a I did a haul yesterday. At, I went to um, my uh where I go, where I go to my let me talk to y'all. I went oh thank I got another super chat. Oh my gosh, thank you, Yvetta. Oh, don't want to say ching ching. No, <laughs> she said love your videos. Thank you. I'm so excited because this is the first time I've done this and I can see it behind on my screen and I didn't know I could do it on my phone. So I'm excited about the super chats. I got five dollars super chat for Yvetta. Thank you, Yvette. I'm sorry. And she said, love your videos. Thank you. Everything I give for Super Chat will be going towards my video. Because y'all know I be buying stuff. Y'all can see. So it helped my, my channel. If y'all send me Super Chats, it don't matter what it is. It's up to you. Just a donation to my business, to my channel. To, to help me out. To Because these videos... Uh, I mean, the stuff that I buy, is all for you, for me too. But I'm just like, I show y'all. Every time I get something, I show y'all how I use it. And I love showing y'all how I use it. So that's where everything is going towards my stuff that I have for these videos. So I appreciate y'all. So what was I saying?
What was I saying? See, I told y'all I only got one mind because I'm so excited about this. Um, who's I saying? Hey, the motherland. Thank you, Shelbyl. She said, "Keep averting, keep encouraging us. You're such a blessing. Thank you, five dollars from um, Shelbyl. Thank you, Juana. Five dollars from Juana. Thank y'all. Thank you." Now, what does it mean when it's red? I got twenty dollars from Gary. Thank you, Gary. What does it mean when it's red? Does it mean because it's a lot of money? Thank you. Luke, Gary didn't say anything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. She said, my hair is amazing. I appreciate you all. I'm so excited about this super chat. I used to, everybody doing this. I'm like, let me try it. I never, it just, I appreciate you. Appreciate you all. Um, get on with this video. Y'all made me cry. Um, because right now, yes, yeah, so these blessings are really well for me now because my daycare, ain't nobody, I got, I, I do daycare for the, the living and, um, and it's really bad right now because nobody's working. So everybody not bringing their kids to my daycare. So it's like, I got this big old building with like 20 kids. Like I'm used to having 80 kids in my daycare. So like, yes. Yeah. So it's like, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, I'm, I mean, I'm debating on what if I want to do, like, do I want to go ahead and um, close it down because I'm not really, uh, 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 but I love the kids. So it's like, I want the, I still got 20 kids that need daycare. You know what I'm saying? But my lease is like, whew, like, whew. <laughs> and I'm going to be depleting my savings because I'm, and I'm, I'm telling y'all my business, but it's just, I need to pray for me, pray for me and my business. So I've been really doing well with my, with my crafting and stuff, but I love the kids too. So I really want to be that person for them kids, there for the kids. Cause you know, it's, it's a lot of bad daycares out here. It's a lot of people that, you know, kids can't stay home because it's a lot of stuff going on at home, but parents not working. So I don't have, they're not bringing their kids cause they ain't got no job. They're not working to get them checks from the government. So it's like, really? So I'm, I'm still, I've been not struggling. I'm still making it, but it's like, I don't know what I want to do yet. So I'm still trying to push up this channel, push up my business because I need to, I might, might have something to fall back on if I had to get rid of that. I'm not get rid of, you know, have to close down my dick here. And no, Lord, no, I don't want to work for nobody, y'all. I'm used to working for myself. I've been working for myself forever. So I'm not trying to get no job. But girl, I was in, I was in Hobby Lobby. I'm just talking, talking, talking. If I was enjoying fabric, I'm like, this probably be a good place for me to work because <laughs> I can give you some cheap fabric. Look, <laughs> and they're so nice. They know my name. So I'm like, I might do this part time. I might. So I'm considering, but I really don't want to work for nobody else. I'm no, I'm just used to making work for myself. But Hobby Lobby, I mean, enjoying fabric right around the corner from my house, it'd probably be fun. I don't know. But then it's talking about working on the weekends. Girl, I ain't working on nobody, on nobody weekend. Look, I work on my daycare. I work Monday through Friday. And I only work from 7.30 to 11.30. So I'm spoiled, right? So if I go to a job, I got to work day hours only to work. I'm like, girl, I ain't working that. No, I'm just playing. I wouldn't do that. But I'm just saying, I'm not used to that. I'm used to working my schedule because I make my own rules. Yes, so deep. She said, play, um, pay, pray about it. Yeah, I've been praying about it because I really love my children. I love my daycare. I love it. But I'm used to having 80-something kids. And girl, I got 20. So, which y'all, that's a lot, that's a big old drop in my moolah. But anyway, um, hope the kids would become, yeah, I'm just, like I said, I love the kids. I love, it's not about the money, it's about them kids having a safe space to go. But I still have bills to pay, you know what I'm saying? I still have to pay that mortgage, I mean, at least for that building, the big building. So, y'all, okay, this is not about that, it's about this. So, I just want to thank y'all for Super Chats. Thank you, thank you, thank you, because it will help me right now. I really need it. I mean, I'm, I, I really appreciate the extra donations. That can help my channel out because i'll be spending money y'all um girl let me see okay so go ahead to file and now what i do is i told y'all what the size it is okay this is basically a size that i'm gonna use for my bibs and i just go basically to um print print setup print page setup and then i go to it's tabloid paper 11 by 17 right and it's portrait and then that's the printer i'm using right and i push okay and then you still have to go to file print Okay, I'm sorry if y'all see that. Files, print. And then, um, then it's pop-up right here. It's a new thing for silhouette. Like I said, you do not have to have a silhouette cutter, a cameo to do this. I love, love, thank you. Another one, best you in the crew. Oh, my God, stop. She sent me another one. I don't know if this repeated or she did it again. I'm pretty sure she did it again. Thank you for a nine from best you in the crew. Thank you, Dips. Thank you. Um, so then, um, like I said, you do not have to, um, have the machine for this software. The software is free, but I do have the business edition. Okay. So I do use the business editions, but you right here, it says business addiction edition. Okay. But you can get to the West studio, um, for free and design. I design all of my stuff on here because on Cricut, you can't print big off Cricut. Well, I know you can now, but, um, I haven't used that, that, that yet, but this right here, design, this design, this platform is so 
good. I love it. So much you can do with Silhouette, okay? I have videos on how to design a Silhouette. I do not know how to use Photoshop yet, so that's why I use this. It's something like Photoshop, but it's different. Photoshop is much harder. So I used I used this always to um you to do my um to do my um girl, this y'all up distracting me. Y'all distracting me with this money coming up in here. <laughs> Thank you, best unit crew. Thanks, Dimps. Thanks, Nancy. Somebody else just said something. I knew the name, but I can't. I couldn't. I skipped you. The best unit crew. She sent me another. She sent me nineteen ninety nine. Thank you so much. Um, somebody else. Dimps. Thank you so much for the five dollars. Thank you, girl. Thank you. And I think Gary didn't send me another twenty, did he? Or is that still up there? I don't know how to work this thing, y'all. I don't know. I think I'm doubling it. I don't know. Thank you. Thank y'all so much for all y'all y'all donated. Thank you so much. She said she wants the mini. Um, I got this. I got this off of um, I got this off of um, where I get this off of a page, of a, a Facebook group. Okay, so what was I saying, y'all? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and print. Oh, while well, saying about how I use this, I use this to design all of my stuff, my shirts, everything. I use Silhouette Studio. Okay, or you can use you can you can use Microsoft Word also. Okay. But I use this. You could use Cricut too, but Cricut, like I said, it's kind of small. It's still not as you could use. You could print bigger in Cricut, but it's not no thirteen by nineteen, like seventeen by nineteen. You can print seventeen by nineteen out of here, okay? Out of silhouette, and you could print it off out of um, Word Perfect. But you can't print that seventeen by what is it? Seventeen? No, thirteen by nineteen or eleven by seventeen on what is this? Or you can't do that on Cricut, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's pouring down. Can y'all see this, y'all? Does that mean she, um, be <laughs> best you to prove she got that rain? Yes, pouring down money in here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, somebody just sent me something. Oh, somebody just sent me something. I can't remember who it was. You are lovely, honey. Somebody's. Oh, Marilyn. Thank you, Marilyn. Marylinda. Thank you so much for your ten dollars super chat. Was it? I mean, twenty dollars. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so sorry I missed that up. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is put the paper in here, 11 by 17 paper. And I'm gonna finish the video. Y'all keep on pouring down this, keep on giving me this money. I appreciate y'all. I really need it. I mean, I really appreciate it. Like I said, I, I'm doing good. I'm, I'm not, um, but I'm still just debating on what I need to do about the business, you know. I still got say, I still got some money saved, so that's a good thing. So when that starts depleting, I'm like, Lord. If I gotta pay all this money for this lease, that money could be saved in my pocket. I can save that for, I can have it for something else, you know? And I don't wanna be, and, he, and I tried to call my landlord and tell him this stuff. He was like, um, you'll be all right. They about to start paying y'all, going to work. I'm like, thank you. I've been here five years. And this how you talking to me? This how you act? Like, yeah, they don't care about nothing but the money. Like, I've been here five years and had no problems with me. And you can't go down my, on my rent for six months so I can get my kids back. So, um, okay. So here's it. Here it is. It's printing out. Like I said, I use my um, Epson 7710, 7720, whatever one you want to use. They're the same printers. So don't everybody say what's the difference. It's only one difference. The 2720 got two shelves, okay? Two paper shelves, okay? Who is this? Gary. I think he already... I don't think he sent me twice. I don't know if he sent it twice or not. I'm confused. Oh, but I got a total, so he probably did send it to me twice. I got... Okay. I got 173 likes. Please, please, please. Um, like this video. I'm gonna show y'all how it's printing out real quick. I appreciate y'all all, y'all. Y'all just, <laughs> y'all just don't know. Y'all just don't know. And like I said, whatever y'all want to see, let me know. I have all these machines here in my house that's like here to be used. So I be looking, I be forgetting about stuff. I be forgetting about what y'all want. I mean, y'all gotta tell me something y'all what y'all want to see. Look at that. Ain't that nice? And I will do the video for y'all. I hope this could be my... I really look forward to it as being my full-time job, but I just got to make sure I can live. Um, Look at that. That's cute. I like that, y'all. Okay, so with that being said, I'll show y'all some more stuff that I did today. I would love to be... Te I love teaching. Like I said, I love teaching my daycare, and I love teaching everybody on, on, in, in this Facebook group. Thank you, Yanda Clark. She said me five, 4 dollars Super Chat. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Mama Doulis. She sent me ten dollars. She said you're awesome. Can't wait to see my daughter, Poppy. Oh, I just, oh, I just showed them socks. <laughs> Did you miss it? I just showed the socks to y'all. Did you see it? Oh my God, Lisa said nineteen ninety nine. You're amazing. Thank you, y'all. Gonna make me cry. She said this unit crew said it's raining up in here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, yeah, I showed your socks earlier. I got them done for you, so I can show it to you again if you want to see them. Um. 
I appreciate y'all business. And I think I, uh, I came to talk. I told y'all I'd get excited. I can't talk. <laughs> oh, Lord. I appreciate all the super chats. Thank you. Um, this is my first time using this, and this is <laughs> raining up in here. Um, um, what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, look, these are the um, I gotta do these too. I have some um, oh, I'm gonna do that too. I gotta show y'all these these blanks from Condi. Um, so yes, I gotta do these. These are passport in co uh passport covers and uh, uh luggage tags. Okay, so I gotta do that. I'm gonna do that today too. But I got a lot going on, y'all. So I'm gonna do these today. Um, I show I gotta show y'all the blanks from Condi. They send me some nice luggage tags, luggage tags y'all. And that's a big seller, too. I sell a lot of my luggage tags. So, I'm telling y'all this stuff is big seller. So, y'all can go ahead and start doing them, too, y'all. Sublimation is the bomb. I do a lot of sublimation tags and passport covers. when I, And that sell out. I sell out at the mall when I was at the mall. And I sell out when I'm my, my, my um, my, um, what's it called? My vendor's tables. And I also sell out when I, on my website. So, okay. So, this is supposed to be luggage tags right here. Got to make it smaller. She want hers like this. And then this is a shirt I'm doing today, too. And I'm doing this shirt today, too. So this size right here for this shirt, I'm going to show y'all right now before I do it. Thank you, Dolores, for the $10 super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This size is a, a 9 by uh, nine by 9 by 12 by 3, okay? This is for, I think, a large shirt. I'm going to let y'all know in a minute. But this is a shirt. It's either large or medium, okay? And then this is another shirt I'm doing. I'm going to show you the size. I'm going to get on going because that thing is beeping and it's getting to my nerves. This one is a... Uh, 10 by 7, 11 by 7 foot. I think this is a large. So you'll see um, the sizes in a minute. But those are the shirts I'm doing now. I'm sure y'all now want to see the meshes. So this is a bib I'm going to be doing. This is the paper I'm going to be using for my son's two shirts, okay? So check her out. You're going to see the difference between this and then the... Let me, let me turn this thing off. Hold on. Let me go ahead. Ooh, girl. I'm to fall on my head. Let me go ahead and heat this shirt up. Well, we'll heat this up so it can stop making that noise. So I know I'm probably getting on y'all nerves. Sorry, I'm kind of wobbly, but I got to get this thing to shut up. Okay. That's all I needed. It was out the way, so I won't burn my tutus. Okay. Whew. Lord, y'all got me over here. My eyes all watering and stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so this is this paper I'm going to be using for my son's shirts. Okay, so check her out, sub buddy. She resent it to me so I can um review her sh her um shirt. I mean, her paper. It's the paper. I'm going to do hers first, okay? For my son's shirt. I'm going to do hers first. So this is the... um. Images I'm gonna be using for his shirt, and you can tell it's her paper because it's pink on the side. Okay, it's pink on the other side. So if y'all know her, you can go ahead and tag her in this video. Cause I don't know how to get in touch with Twitter. I just know she sent it to me. She, um. Okay. So this is gonna be done first. And then I have her paper. Take a picture of it. Snapchat. I mean, snap it, freeze, whatever you want to do with it, so you can know how who she is. I don't know the prices of it, so check her out. There's a website on here. Ooh. Oh, right here. Sublimation papers, sub or oh, just um subbing subbuddies.com. So check her out. Okay, this is a shirt right here. Thank you, Miss Dimps. Um, she's going ahead and give y'all my um websites, a Red Sunshine Boutique with my kids' clothing, and then my my other shop is called um, Charming Gal Boutique too for my dot stuff. Everything personalized, anything you want on that site. Like I'm doing that too. Okay, but these are these are all orders except for the ones that I'm doing for my son. In the bibs. Then I'm doing that bib right here too. So let's get started. I printed everything out. I showed y'all the sizes of everything. I showed y'all which machines I'm using. I showed you what paper I'm using. This paper right here is A sub paper, okay? A sub paper. I love A sub paper. That's what I go. That's what I use. But I'm also gonna try her paper out because I might be getting hers, you know, soon. Depends on how I like it. Okay. This is the um subbing subbuddies.com for this paper. The one I'm doing first. Okay, let's go ahead over here to the heat press, y'all. We ready. Okay, let me go ahead and put this on my... Hang up this on my little stand right here. Let me put this right here. Let me see if I can my light. Let me get look better. Ooh, you'll never know what you're going to get on the live, y'all. So, excuse me. My shirt I made, this is sublimation. And um, vinyl on cotton heat transfer vinyl. So if y'all want to know how to do this shirt, I have this video on how to do this shirt in my my page. Okay, I'm gonna do my son's first. And you know what I do for my son, y'all. You know what? Okay, this is small business slash whatever tutorial. Whatever come up, we talk about it. Okay, my son uh, shirts. I bought a lot of these. I bought some shirts. Is that light too bright, y'all? Is light too bright? Should I turn the light back off or leave it on? 
Am I glue? Am I glowing? Um, my son. Just I don't know if y'all say anything because my thing come on super chat. Don't want to go on live or how I do this crap. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's, now I know how to do it. Okay, so super. Okay, Veronica, thank you. I'm so sorry I've missed you. I went on super chat and I could see everything. Lisa, thank you for the twenty. I mean, 1999. Thank you. This phone. Okay, super chat. Thank you, Lisa, for the 1999. You're amazing. I think I already told you. Thank you, Doris. Thank you for the ten dollars. Thank you, Veronica, for the ten dollars. You are awesome. I love that you are willing to share. Thank you so much, y'all. I'm sorry I didn't know how I can do this. So now I can see everybody that sent me something. Thank you so much, y'all. See everybody now. That said, thank you too. I appreciate you all. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the regular chats. This is my first time doing this, y'all. So I have no clue what I'm doing. Okay, so what I do for my son, light is good. Okay, good. Light is good. I, you know, we buying these shirts from different places just to see how they act, how they look, how they act, how they look. Some of these shirts, them sublimation shirts be so thin. And they are supposed to be for, like, workout shirts. But I wouldn't sell these because they're not really T-shirts. So whenever I get some crazy shirts, I, I use it for me and my son. Okay? So this shirt right here is like a, it's called, um... A dry, what's it called? Let me see. This says athletic appear apparel. I don't know where I got it from, but it's it, I got it. I got to get it from China somewhere because it's got China lettering and stuff in there. So it's got to be from them sites that I get from China. And it's like really thin and see through. So I wouldn't sell these, okay? So I just use. I try to buy samples, and if I don't like them, I just use it for me and my son. So I be trying to order the kid size for his size, and I wear uh, order me medium because that's what size I wear. And I try it out first, and then I buy more. So right here. What do you say? What? What, Shayna? What, Shayna? She said what? Okay. Hey, Shayna. What's going on? Oh, hey. So, yes. Um, today we said the maiden on shirts. So, we got a lot of shirts to talk about in the burn. Not the burn, but some of the maiden. Because I'm not going to burn nothing up. But I'm just saying heat up. That's what I'm to say. I'm so excited <laughs> about y'all. These super chats. I want to show everything. Everyone, what I did with my submission machine. You want to show somebody what you talking about? Okay, let's go on. Thank you. I love Tiana too. She, I, I was scared to do her. I thought I was gonna mess her up, but I did good with her. I like it. Okay, so let me go ahead. What I first, what I need to do first is the Hey Angela Nash. Okay, my my ding on my light. This thing I got this on is kind of wobbly, so it want to turn when it want to turn by itself. So hopefully it'll stay still. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is go ahead and um, use my lint roller. I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking, y'all, because I've been talking too much. And I got the videos I'm, I'm gonna be doing after this one, y'all, so stay tuned. I'm getting these videos out, and I don't like to have my lives so long. And I wanna make sure when I do a live, it's gonna be about the topic that I put on my live. So this is all about sublimation. And um, and then I also did a review, or I'm doing a review on some paper that I got, some sub paper I got. So that's gonna, it's basically my, my mail. My fan mail today and sublimation on this video, okay? My next video is going to be, I'm showing you all my Cricut machines and what I think about them. And also, if I'm going to get that new Cricut machine, okay? That's the next video going to be. After I get this done with the video, give me 15 minutes to calm my little nerves down. And I'm going to jump right back on, okay? Hey, Nigel, I hope you are already going. Okay, so I just lint rolled it real quick. And now I'm going to go ahead and press the, um, I'm going to go ahead and press the wrinkles out, get the moisture out. But whenever I press my shirt... I always cover it up because it's white. And you don't know what's on this heat press. Okay, you'll never know what's on it. So I always put paper on top of it, okay? Excuse me, I'm excited. I'm talking fast. I can feel it in my bones. I can hear it in my ear. <laughs> Y'all know I'm goofy. Now, this is not tight enough. So I'm like, I don't know what I used before, but it's, this, is, this is not tight enough. So I'm about to screw this a little bit tighter. Um, So I go to turn it to the left. I mean, the right. Wait, why is it that way? The left to tighten it up. So I think that's a bit better. Oh, yeah, that's better. Okay. So, I, I, make, I just heat up a little bit to get all the moisture out the shirt. And now, like I said, I'm going to be using that. I'm using this paper right here. I showed y'all who it's from. So, what I do is I tear my paper, right? Because when you tear your paper, you're going to get the line, that deep line in your paper when you sublimate, okay? But I can't tear this right here because it's going to tear the sheet, okay? See, I usually don't do this because I'd rather have a big sheet of paper so I can have enough room to tear the design away from it, but this is for my son, so it's gonna be all right, okay? He told me he ain't with the shirts, okay? But I'm gonna make them anyway because I want him to have them. You know, I want them, okay? You're gonna wear them though, bro. You're gonna wear them. You gonna, might not wear them today, but you're gonna wear them. <laughs> so I like to find you know, cheap images or free images for him so he can have something to wear different. 
So now I can tear this part right here. Let's see. I can tear this part right here because if you tear it, you won't get that harsh line on there. Thank you, thank you. FEMA. Is it FEMA? Lanita? But a 99 Super Chat. This is so fun, y'all. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. You got me all teary-eyed. Thank you so much. This is my first time doing this video, and y'all are loving me, loving me, loving me. And y'all know I love y'all back. Okay, I'm showing y'all. Tearing this cross like this. Okay. And if I forget y'all, if I don't see y'all super chat now, I'm gonna go back to the super chat page and I can I'll say thank you as soon as I finish doing these church. I might not I might skip your name if I'm doing this and I can't see the screen. So I apologize if I do, but I will go back and read your names over. Okay. So I did you see I tore it and now you don't have that sharp line, but you might still see a line right here because it's not it's a you see how sharp that line is? It will show up in your shirt. So it's a real sharp line. So that might show up, but it's my son's shirt, so it's cool, okay? So I'm definitely knowing it's gonna it might show up. But now that I'm using this Teflon sheet, it might not show up, but it might. Because, you know, before, y'all, I was not using the Teflon sheets. I was not using them. I've been subbing for almost a year. I wasn't using them. I bought them, but I wasn't using them. So now that I have them, I use them, and they, oh, my God, it's, it's a difference. It's a big difference. So get them Teflon sheets, y'all, and, and, and use it. Here it is right here. You get a whole lot of them from Amazon. These are Teflon sheets, okay? But you still use butcher paper, okay? The butcher paper I got from, um, hot, uh, from Gordon's or Sam's, Okay? Now what I do is I get my little root, my little tape measure. Let me go get it. What I do? with it? I just had. Hope y'all hear me. Belch, excuse me. Um, look, let me see. I mean, I finally, finally made a lot. Hey, hey, Alicia, thanks for joining us. I'm glad you made it. Like I was telling y'all, I don't mind telling y'all things. Everything I, everything I do, everything I do. Why am I doing this way? I basically um turn it this way, and I make sure it's three inches away from the collar. Okay, three inches away from the collar. Then I measure from this right here to the paper size to make sure that match on each side. That's how I do it. Okay. And some people you can fold the shirt in half and iron it. You can do all that, but I don't do all that. Okay. Um, I just make sure it's three inches from this collar, and then I um go from side to side to see where um get a tag right there in the middle too. So this is about this is not three inches. This is three inches now. Okay, make sure it's straight. And it's still wrinkled. I don't know why. And I go from this, from the edge to the shirt, to the beginning where the design started. That's a four over here. And over here, this is a, almost a four. So I'm going to go over a little bit this way. And that's all I do, y'all. That's how I, that's how I do it, y'all. So everybody do it different. People iron their shirts, put a crease in the middle of the shirt. They do all that. But I do do that for my embroidery. I do because embroidery is new to me. And I want to make sure that thing is right, okay? I ain't trying to mess up nobody's shirt or no embroidery. This was cool. You can, whatever. This is easy. Sublimation is easy. You can just burn. If you don't do it right, do it over again. But embroidery, you ain't waste all that thread on no shirt, and it ain't right. It ain't centered, okay? So I do iron my shirt and fold it for embroidery. But for this, I don't. It depends, though. I really don't. No, I don't. So then I have my tape. You know, I got this from. I have the link on my videos, too. Everything will be on this video after the video is over with. I, this is the sublimation tape. I just take some of it off. This is this, this, this a big old heavy thing. Tape dispenser came with it because it's a big roll of tape, so you got to get a special tape dispenser. I have the um, links in that video, okay? Like I was saying, I don't mind. I, everything I show y'all, I show y'all that I, what I do on my sites. This is what I sell. And people be like, why are you showing everybody what you're doing? People going to take your, nobody taking it nothing from me. We all can, we all can grow from, and, and, and own a, get a business, own a business. I live in Ohio. I get all of my stuff from, um, everybody's. Shopping for me, they be in California and New everywhere else but Ohio. So I get I mean I get people from Ohio too, don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying, you can get if you set up on online, people will come to you. If they like what they see, they're gonna come to you, no matter what. Like I always see this this post on Facebook talking about some everybody saying they don't want to sell this, sell this, but they got like twenty thousand different kind of bread a bread. Uh, you know, bread that you eat, bread, loaf bread, and people still making more bread. So make your money, honey. Make your money. Um and I'm showing you, like I said, whatever I got on my page, whatever I learn, I bring it to y'all. So what I do is I make sure it's tight. I got my butcher paper and my um Teflon paper. And it's 300. My machine, I do 368 um degrees for 60 seconds, okay? People do 400, but my machine is still barely new. So it gets really hot, so I do 385. But still, I basically count like 10 seconds after it beeps. Sound weird? That's what I do. Okay, let's go back to see what y'all was saying. Okay, now, nah. yes, you can grow. Yes, we all can grow. Doing, <laughs> we all making tutus, we all can still grow. I just started making tutus and I love it. So, check out my sites. <laughs> it's enough for everybody, right? Everybody do the stuff differently. Oh, you went, okay, you didn't see them. Here they go, right here. Here the socks. 
This is she ordered these socks. They the peep the poppy socks. And I never knew what they were until she told me about the socks. So I got them done. These are the, this is just the um the ruffles. I'm gonna still I gotta still get the socks or whatever. Still gotta get this pick up the socks. But these are the ruffles. They are so cute. You like them? Poppy socks. Poppy troll socks. And I'm gonna show y'all. Oh, she love them. I'm glad you like them, Mama Duck. Is it Doulas? Thank you. I'm thank you for your business. So let me show y'all how this look. Now this is using the, the um paper. Let me just show y'all her this shirt real quick before I show y'all this. But I'm showing everybody the tutus and stuff that I made, Mama. I but then I showed her I made this little sample to go with them socks I put on my site. I'm gonna take a picture of the socks before I ship before I ship them to you. But this is the um little shirt, the sample I made for these socks. Cause this is what she wanted, the, the um, poppy socks, and it matched perfectly with the thread and the pink. So this isn't that cute. So I still gotta get the socks. It does come with the socks, but they are detachable, so you can be able to wash the socks and not mess up the rib, the ruffles. So you can put the socks on first, and then you put the ruffles on top of the socks, and you have your pair of ruffle socks. And you take them off to wash them, so you won't mess up the ruffles. You can keep on wearing these over and over again. Cute, huh? And there we go. I'll be shipping them off on Monday. Okay. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your business. That's cute. Thank you. Okay, so let me show y'all how it looks right now. You'll be the first to see. See the line show up. I told y'all. Oh my God. Oh my. That paper is the bomb. Oh my goodness, girl. Yes, yes. Get you some of that paper. And look at that. And this, let me show y'all how much um, ink come off of this paper compared to um, Asa paper. All the ink is off. It really looks good. Now let me show y'all this up close. Hope y'all tagged her if y'all know her. Because this paper is the bomb. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, honey. Yes, honey. I will be using her paper. I'm going to show y'all again her paper name again. But so I told you about the line. See, even did the side, though, too. Um, I don't know why they did that. I used a Teflon sheet. But you know what? It did, <laughs> it did show the, the line over here, too. But it's just this shirt. It's just like, what's the shirt called? It's like the dry. It's just like the thin material. It's really thin. It's like, I don't know. I can't think of what name of it is. But this is the shirt, too. But this is for my son. So it's cool. But I was telling y'all, y'all just need to rip y'all shirts, y'all paper, so it won't show the line. It still showed it. So it's not supposed to do that. And you know what? Also, I, it's probably too tight. My um, my heat press was a little bit too tight too, cause it's of this shirt, of this shirt. She said use pillows. Yes, I never used pillow before, but um, I will give me a pillow. But this this don't ever happen to me on the other shirts. Okay, I have other shirts. This is this shirt. This is shirt. Okay, so this is for my son. It's okay. But I'm just showing y'all what happens. Even though even though I tore the paper, it still did that. Usually when I tear my paper, it doesn't do this. But it's this. It's called dry something. I can't think of this. With it, but it's really like really thin. It's not. Of course, it's one hundred percent polyester. But um, yes. So that's one shirt, girl. That's cute. Oh yeah. Let me show y'all her name again. Please tag her if y'all know her. I don't even know who she is. Sorry. But I can go to her site and thank her. But she sent me this so I can review it, and it's really some good paper. Okay. Like I said, you can tell hers is different because it's pink on the other side. It's not white. It's pink on the other side. Fast drying, 95% um, 80 um, transfer rate. And her site is called subbuddies.com. I got to check her prices out. You should tear the edges of your... What paper? Uh, That's what I did. I already tore it. I did that already. That's what I'm saying. I understand why I did that. Now I tore the paper. So, yep. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, I did tear the paper of, the, of sub paper. Michaela. Yep, sub buddies, y'all. Get her paper. It's the bomb. Let me show you one more time. I'm doing them. I got one more to do with her paper, though. This is the first one. Okay? Now, the second one is her paper. And, and this is how to look after you press it. Okay, thank you. Subbuddy.com. She's good. She sent me that to review. So, this is the second one right here, right? So, I'm going to um cut this. I'm going to tear this. Because, like I said, I tear it because if you tear it, it's not supposed to leave those lines. So, you know what? Might be the might be the paper. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna show y'all how much. How, I'm gonna show y'all how to. Um, but if you use a pillow, it'll be work. But I don't use pillows. I never used a pillow before. But I'm gonna show y'all the difference between this paper and a sub paper. Just a comparison. But her paper's still good. Okay. Just a comparison. Okay. So I'm gonna use the same shirt though. I should use a different shirt, but I don't have another. Oh, I do. This is a different shirt for him. Cool. So this is a cricket shirt. Okay. So we're gonna see if the line's gonna be in this shirt. But I'm also going to I'm gonna bring my heat press up a little bit too because it probably was a little bit too tight. Okay, so that's it could be a lot of different reasons why you get the lines. You get the reasons for the lines for the paper, the material of the shirt, and if your um press is too tight. Okay, so my press might be too tight. So I'm gonna let this is cute though, huh? I like oh, my light is too dim. 
My son thinks he's going to want to wear this shirt. Boy, you going to wear this shirt. You going to wear this shirt. So, let's see, might be. Yeah, that's why I was saying the press might be too tight. I just made it tighter because I thought it was too loose, but it might be too tight. So, I think this shirt going to turn out okay. I'm about to go ahead and take un, um, unloosen this tight, this um, peak press, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and unloosen it after I press it. So, this is a cricket shirt. And sometimes I don't really use, I don't really use the cricket shirts a lot on, on my sales. I don't know why I just don't. You know what? Well, I don't. There's no excuse why, because I but I use a lot of cricket for my um for the kids shirts I do. Yeah, if I have cr kids, I use cricket shirts for kids. But I really haven't been using cricket shirts for the adults. Um, I just I don't know why. I just don't know why. Oh, because they V necks, and some people don't like V neck shirts, and I'm and I really don't want to um <laughs> add V necks on to my site. I really don't because that's just more extra shirts I got to look for when somebody order. I'm not being lazy. I just want to be ready. You know what I'm saying? I want to only have all this inventory and buy all this extra stuff and don't have it when they want it. So, yeah. But I do love Cricut shirts. But like I said, stay tuned to my video next after this because I'm going to show y'all, tell y'all about my, my Cricut stuff. And it goes for materials, the machines, everything about Cricut is going to be next on my next video. Today. Today, honey. Like I said, I also I always press with butcher paper. So, whatever's on my machine, it won't get on my shirt. And I also use my lint roller to do this. Go ahead and get that lint off the off of the shirt. Okay. I'll ask y'all questions in a minute, y'all. Okay, because I'm trying to get these shirts out the way so I can be done with this. I have like two more shirts to do, and I got a two bibs to do. Okay, so I got a lot of shirts I want to get done out of this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this, and I'm gonna go ahead and untighten it because it is too tight. Go ahead and bring this over some. Okay. So that's cool now. So let me go ahead and get the image. Like I said, three inches. In front. Oh, for a youth, it's supposed to be two inches. I'm sorry. But it's still look good. Three inches is okay for him. He's a big youth. So I'm going to go ahead and do two on this one. I'm using a different shirt. So we're going to see how this prints out on this shirt. Okay. I'll do two inches on this one. I did three inches on the other shirt. Let me check and see how I like that three inches. So usually it's two inches on a youth shirt and three inches on a dark shirt. Yeah, that's kind of low. That's kind of low for a, a kid. It could go higher. So like I said, it's supposed to be two inches on the um a kid shirt. So this time I'm going to do two inches on his shirt, okay? But it's still cool. It's my son's, okay? It's my son's. He'll be all right. So let me go down two inches. Well, say one and a half to two inches. So I'm going to do two inches for him on this one. I'm going to bring that up a little bit. Okay. Then I'll make sure it's straight. I'm excited to see how this paper gonna do on this cricket shirt because cricket shirts are the bomb. They do print out, I mean, they do press, I mean, set up real good, okay? That's a four over here. That's a little bit over, so I'm gonna bring this over some. Uh, this is how I do it. I basically measure the, the, the seam to the um picture on both sides, and that's how I do mine, okay? I could do, I do people, like I said, people sometimes they um fold their shirts and put a crease in the middle of it, uh, or they go by the, the seam, of the, I mean, the, the tag of the shirt. So many different ways you can do this, y'all. So many ways. This is how I do it. And I'm quick with this one because this is my son. So I'm not really focused on it that good. But on the other two shirts I'm doing later, the next two shirts I'm doing, they are orders. So I will be um taking my time on those two shirts because I'm they're for my customers. Okay. So now I'm gonna have to put the butcher paper back on top of here. Butcher paper and Teflon paper. And we're gonna go ahead and do this for um 60 seconds. Yeah, yeah, I got seven machines. I got seven cricket machines. Y'all know what they are? I'm going to tell you after this video, so stay tuned. Right after this video. Okay, let's see what y'all saying. Let's see what y'all saying. Welcome. If any other, if any virgins in here, first timers, please say you're a virgin so we can say welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, dry fit. That's what it is. It's called dry fit. I don't like the way, because it's a different material than the t-shirts. Okay, if you get a regular polyester t-shirt, it's, it feel like cotton. But these don't feel like cotton. They feel like silk. But they are good when they're good for exercising. But I don't like to sell those. Hey, first time raid one. Thank you. Thank you, Kim, for joining us. Thank you. Everybody saying first time they don't want to say virgin. It's okay. It's okay. We're just being funny on this channel. I appreciate you all. Hey, Virgin. Hey, just so. Um, hey, Virgin. Hey, Brands. Thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all for showing up. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you for your support. Please subscribe to this channel. 
I have so much going on here. I got 323 people watching. Hey, hey, hey. Go ahead and like that, like that video and subscribe to this channel. I do everything. Everything, everything. Sublimation, embroidery, journals, cards, sew. I sew. I just started how to learn how to sew. So whatever I learn, I bring it to y'all. Okay, let's see y'all. Y'all ready? Y'all ready, 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 ready. Let me see. I'm going to bring y'all closer so I can see me tear these people off. Can y'all see that? Okay, let's go. Can y'all see that? Oh, oh, oh. And look them. Oh, you still see the darn line. <gasps> no, it didn't work. What'd I do? Oh, shoot. Maybe it was the paper. Maybe it was the... Dang it, dang it, dang it. Hold on, I'm going to try it over again. So usually I don't never do this because, you know, the shadow. This is a cricket shirt. What the heck? It ain't gonna work, cause you know why? When I um do it over, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, what's it called? It's gonna shadow. What's it called? What's the word I'm looking for? It's gonna ghost. But it's not. It didn't go all the way through. Like I should have let it go a little bit longer. See, it, it depends on your shirt. Even, if, even I let it go. I still let it go over the, the um the minutes. It's gonna shadow this time. But oh wait, this is for my son. I don't know with them white. It's, it basically was ghosting. So it, it is. It's not all the way done. It's not cooked all the way. Let me try it again. Watch it's gonna go for real now, cause usually you don't supposed to do it twice. Um, but we're gonna try it again. Like a couple moments, seconds. Cause uh that's cause see how this shirt is the quickest shirts are thicker, but it don't matter. I still use the same time attempt for these shirts, so I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. But I'm on I'm on live, y'all, so this is what happens. But I'm not mad because this is my son's shirt, so just don't mess up on my shirts that I gotta use for my customers that I got coming up. No, but it didn't work, but it's still cool. I'm gonna show y'all. It's not the paper, y'all. The paper is the bomb.com because we just did on that other shirt and it worked. So we don't know what went on right here. But it's all good, y'all. It's all good. Let me show y'all what happened. See? Always, I mean, look at that. And that's ghosting. It could be the image, though. It could be the image of, of the, the image of the shirt because, oh, it's hot. See? But it's still, my son will still wear that. It's still sweet. Okay? Thank you for welcoming the newbies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But so you can see that it, it's got a ghosting, so it could be the image. And it, I can't say it's the shirt because cricket shirts are very good. Make sure it's a cricket shirt, y'all. Cause not nah, if that's the problem, if it's not a cricket shirt. But I could have sworn it was a cricket shirt. Let me just check and see. Yep, it's cricket. Ninety five percent polyester. So with that being said, like I said, things happen. Things happen. Okay, the the same image. This image. It just basically got ghosting on here. I used the same time and temp for the other shirt. This is a different shirt, though. And this shirt came out perfect. Let me show y'all this shirt real quick. It's for my son, so I'm not going to cry about it. He's going to still wear it. But look how beautiful this one came. It's, and it, the images came off the same site, off of Google, okay? But it's, it's a different image, though. So, yeah, different image. So, this came off the same site, but it's a different image. So, with that being said, things happen. You're going to get some stuff going on with this sublimation. Like, girl, let me tell you. Let me show y'all this real quick. Look at the color. That's, that's beautiful. So this is not the paper, so please still support her. Her paper is the bomb. You can see how I did on this shirt. This shirt is how much polyester is this? See, this is China. You can't even tell what the heck to say. But um, I know it's polyester, but it's just a different. It's really thin. I want to do another thing. I want to do something else on this with this paper just so y'all can see that it's not the paper. But I don't have anything printed out, and I don't know what I want to do yet. It don't tell you how much polyester is in this shirt, okay? So this is the shirt. These are two shirts I made. I'm sure you might um Yeah, thank you for supporting her. She says you just ordered the paper. It's the bomb. Okay, so yep, this is the shirt, not the paper. I don't know, but I'm okay with it because it's my son's. So now like I said, I was just testing out her paper. So the other ones that I'm gonna be doing now is all A sub paper, okay? A sub paper. Because I, I like to test out first. But believe me, honey, I'm gonna be using her paper next time. Okay, I gotta see what the price is. And we're going to go from there. I like to support in any way it goes. I'm still going to buy a pack of paper. Um, So let me see what I'm about to do. I got three more shirts. No, I got two shirts to do. And I have two bibs to do. And we'll be done with this video. And then we're going to go on to my next video. So let me see. Be the lower than 100. Maybe 300. Um, yeah, it might be. It might be. Like I said, it might be the, the, the picture. So... And I did, I did bring up my, I did bring up my um, press too a little bit. I could have, should have stayed down, but I was trying not to get the lines in there, so it could be the pressure too, not enough pressure. It could be a lot of things when it comes to sublimation. I don't think I'm gonna go back down to my pressure. Let me see how it is. But to check the pressure, you need you paste, you basically put a piece of paper under here, and you're supposed to be able to not pull it out. Let me show y'all how that to check your pressure, cause I think it is kind of loose. It might be my pressure, y'all.
Okay, this is how you check your pressure on your on your um your heat press. Okay, you basically put a sheet of paper in here about right here. Okay, and then you put it all the way down. My, I love my slide. And you put put it all the way down, and then you put be able to pull it. See, I can't pull this out, so it's not not it's not supposed to move it at all. And it's not moving. I'm pulling it with all my might. It's not moving, so that is a good pressure. Okay, so that's cool. I ain't gonna mess with that pressure. So, but if it's slide out, that means it's too. You gotta make your pressure a little bit um. I mean, make it a little tighter. Yeah, you gotta tighten your pressure up your your um knob if it if this paper pull out. But if it, if it pulls out, that means it's not tight enough. So you go ahead and pull it. But that's just for shirts, y'all. But if y'all doing other things like passport covers, that's what I was doing. That's why I was up before passport covers, all that kind of stuff. It's gonna you gonna have to you gonna have to basically check to make sure it's right before you do it because you will melt your stuff. I forgot to show y'all my stuff from Condi too. You welcome, Cheryl. See now, see Ramona. I have not been using Tef I have not been using Teflon paper, never. I have not used it. Being like a couple weeks ago, I used it one time. Somebody said use your Teflon paper, so I used it. I'm like I got it, I bought it, but I don't use it. Then I used it. I was like, oh my god, this 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 color came out so much better. And today I've used it again. I've been using it for the last couple days. And now you see what you're saying? Some people people say it doesn't work. Some people some, some people say it's not good to use. So it's so always something up and down. So girl, I've not been using Teflon paper, but then I I used it one day, and that paper yeah, it's like the the um the color was just so much brighter. I was like, oh, I gotta start using my Teflon paper. So it might be the Teflon paper too. You never know. It can be so much stuff. Sublimation. You gotta play around with it. But I'm not mad because it's my son's shirt. And uh now I'm thinking about not using Teflon paper for my other shirts. But this is black and white, so black and white you ain't gonna be able to tell. This is shirt I'm doing this one next, black and white, so you really can't tell um with the, with the sub with the with using the Teflon paper, you can't tell because it's black and white. So I probably won't use the Teflon paper on this. I have not been using Teflon paper, so I'm not going to use it on this one to mess up my shirt. And then my other shirt I have to use is this girl, and she's going to be really cute. The skin tone. So I'm not going to use the Teflon paper on this either because I'm scared. Now that she said that. <laughs> Y'all know, I, I do a lot of videos, but girl, I'm still scared when it comes to certain things. So, um, yeah, so these two shirts I got to do now, and I'll be done. So like I said, I'm tearing and turn it around my image so I want to leave that harsh line. Okay, make sure there's no see this ink right here. Make sure that's not on your paper. Anything you see on paper, tear it off because it will show up on your um on your shirt. Anything. So I'll tear this real close to the image. I can't show y'all the because I don't want to tear her face off, but I'm just tearing her around. But I gotta look at what I'm doing, okay? These ladies, I can't tell y'all. I just I can't because I got so many ladies, but just check. Um, I don't know where I got the lady from. Etsy. I know I got Etsy, but I don't know what sites, okay? I'm telling you, I got over a thousand SVGs and PNGs, so I do not know. But check, um, just check out short lady hair, brown, black girl, brown girl, short hair with glasses on Etsy. And this shit might pop up. Afro, short afro, short, um, brown skin lady, black girl, short hair, all that, natural hair. Show up, call that Etsy. Not all at once, but keep on doing those different phrases and you, it'll pop up. Okay. Okay. And this is different. This, this, this is just a different, this is this is two different SVGs. This is one and this is two. So I just, this is being black is dope. It's one SVG by itself. That's on Etsy also. Can you see how I cut her? Went on here and trimmed her around. Because if you cut it with scissors, you're going to be able to see the line. Okay, so with her, I do not want to use no dang on Teflon paper because I don't want to mess her up. I'm not gonna do her first. Either. I'm gonna do the, the, I'm gonna do the black and white first because I'd be scared, girl. I'd be scared to because when you get the, like this color, you don't want this color to be faded. You don't want it to be looking all crazy. I want it to be really cute. So with that being said, I'm gonna do her last. Cause I'm gonna do my bib first. So the bib is gonna be polyester. I'm just tearing around the um the lady again. I just can't show y'all her face because I don't want to tear her face off. Shane! 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 Sorry. I'm trying to tell my son to take the puppy out. Sorry about that if I was loud. I'm just, I'm just tearing easily around the image so I won't tear her face off. Okay. We go that's how she looks black and white is easy because black and white really don't mess up unless 
you should make a shadow of it. I love that you speak fast like me. <laughs> I hate that I speak fast. Because <laughs> I can hear myself speaking fast. I'm like, oh my God, girl, slow your butt down. Ain't that serious? Okay. So, I got to figure out what shirt I need to go on. What shirt? I got two shirts, one medium and one small. So, let me check my invoice real quick. So, the black, let me see. The being black is dope. She wants a large shirt. Oh, gray. She wants the large gray shirt. And then the other one is the, the other one is medium white. I remember. I'm medium. This is a medium white. I love jerseys. Oh, my God. Jersey shirts are really true. To, I mean, they, they give you an extra little inf. They give you a little bit more room in it because this is a medium. This is too big. It looks big to me, like a large. But I like jerseys because it's, it's it, you get more a little bit more comfort in it, okay? Yes, please go like like my Etsy page if you're on my, on my page. Please go like my Etsy page just to show me support. My Etsy pages, um, just you don't gotta buy them one too. Just go check them out. And just like if you like if you see like the like the um like the page, please. Charming Gal Boutique two, and Array of Sunshine twenty twenty. Like I said, the link will be under this video, but their links is always under all of my other videos. Just to show, oh, it's a good, it's a line all the way in here. It's a line straight through this uh thing, so it's show me the center right there. See, I ain't going to put it in there. It's a little, but it's might going. It's going to probably disappear after I heat it up. So that ain't gonna be worth my while. Thank you, Miss Dimp. She be on it. She just shared my link to my um group. I mean, to my Etsy page. I really don't want to do this. Um, I really don't double up using these uh, 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 twice because there might be ink on here. Even though I don't see anything on here, there might be something on there. So do not use your butcher paper twice because the ink will fade through on this shirt. I'm just trying to tell y'all all the tricks, the tricks and stuff, to sublimation. Just case y'all new to this. So whenever I do a sublimation video, I'm always trying to talk like i never did it before like make sure if any newbies on here that didn't haven't done haven't done sublimation i'm trying to tell you everything while i go even though i have so many sublimation videos on my site i always talk talk like i'm talking to a um a first beginner when it comes to sublimation or whatever i do on my channel the embroidery whatever i make sure i try to go from talking to like you a, a beginner okay because there's so many things you gotta remember for doing sublimation like today i just like on this shirt i forgot to put my dog on um i forgot to roll it dang it i forgot to um use the lint roller see and i'll be trying to i gotta and i'll be trying not to be doing i try not to do a lot of my orders on here because i don't want to mess up because i like to talk to y'all trying to entertain y'all and trying to show y'all but then i end up goofing up sometimes on my others on my stuff so that's why i really don't be doing that many orders on here because i do not really mess nobody else's stuff up because i gotta do it over again and that's just a waste of product. So this is, when I said this was, was white, and she wanted this, right? Make sure I got the right shirt. Yeah, she wanted gray on the other one. This one's white, medium, right? But make sure you got everything checked out to make sure you got everything before you do it. This is this right here is three inches down. Okay, three inches from the collar. Okay, let's see what we got here. Three, go down some more. Okay. Three, right here. Okay, now I need to center it. Her body was kind of going the other way, right there. I'm so glad my phone didn't ring. I don't know why I talked like that. Now it's going to ring. Nobody didn't call me today. Nobody loved me. Nobody called me today. But I'm glad they didn't because it'll mess up my video. But um, if it, something happened like that, I'll just come back and make it probably a, a pause. But don't worry, I'll be right back because I forgot to shut my phone off. I forgot to put it on um. What's it called? Do not disturb. So that's five inches over here. And five inches over here. Straight like just like that. <laughs> um now I put the tape on here. You gotta use can't use regular tape. You gotta use um heat transfer tape, okay y'all? Heat transfer tape. And you tape the side so it won't move. I'm going to use the I don't know if I'm gonna use the Teflon sheet. Cause I'm not even like I said I haven't been using it and now I'm mad the shirt didn't come out right. I'm and I'm gonna mess up these shirts so I'm not gonna use that Teflon sheet because I never use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do it like this, do it like that. Okay. Like I said, it's black and white, so you ain't gonna really tell because this is not color. Color is when it really show out. But you can still mess up on black because black sometimes can have white spots in it too. Okay. Okay. Let me see what y'all saying. 
Do you put your paper in between? I used to. Uh, <laughs> See, I told you I'd be forgetting. I do do it on white shirts. I don't do it on gray shirts, but I do do it on white shirts. But I have done it. I have not done it on a lot of white shirts, and it doesn't bleed through. Okay? So, but it can. If you sometimes, like, let me show you my son's shirt. That thin shirt I did for him, that was a thin shirt. It could have bled, bled through. This shirt right here, but it didn't. Okay, it didn't bleed through at all. This is a thin shirt that I'm telling you I don't like to use. Very thin, and it didn't bleed through. So I'm glad it didn't because it could have. Um, I never had that problem before. I never had a problem bleeding through. But yes, I usually do put paper between my shirts. But sometimes I do forget. Never had a problem. But it depends on the ink, I guess. I use a Ace. Hold on. I use, um, see how I still go over a little bit? make sure but now this one i'm gonna make i'm gonna check before i move it because if i move it it's gonna shadow but i can do it over again if i don't move it so i'm gonna just check it to make sure i hate these dang old lines what is going on with these lines yeah i think this went on this went on this went on well this came on well but i heard that you can do you can use uh fabric softener or something no you can't i heard that oh that was good they real, they're real, they're real, they're real good you can't see because the light on there but it's no ink on this paper this is a sub okay a sub but i'm still getting these freaking lines i usually don't get these lines like, but it's the gravelum. It don't look bad. It don't look bad, but I'm, I'm tearing my paper, and I don't usually get these lines. So sometimes the lines can come out after you let it sit for a while, I guess. But um, I told you every time I do a, a live, I'm gonna get y'all. I don't wanna discourage y'all from doing sublimation because this don't happen often, and I, I don't use pillows. You can see a little bit. You can't really see it, but you can. A little bit, the line from the paper. And it's not supposed to do that because I, I tore the paper. I don't get these lines, y'all. So it's just, just today I'm getting lines because I'm on this live. But there she is. There she is. Isn't she beautiful? This is A-Sub. And I use um A-Sub paper. And I use... uh What kind of ink I use? I'll let you know in a minute. It's not on my tip of my tongue yet. But there she is. Cute, cute, cute. Which I think... I, do, I sell a lot of her. I do a lot of these shirts. I do a lot of these shirts. I do a lot of her. Okay. I'm just going shaking this out so the lines can come out. So this shirt is done. And see, it did not bleed through. I'll be doggone. I think it bled through. Just because you said something. Look. No, it did. It bled through. That's crazy. Like she, she's asked that question and it happened. It usually don't. <laughs> look, I'm you think I'm lying. It usually don't happen. But it bled through. So I'm gonna do the shirt over again. You can't, you can't see, but I can see it when I look through at the back of it. You like to see a shadow of her back on here. And I had to tell y'all this. I did not have to tell y'all this shirt bled through. I did not tell you that. I'm telling you this because I want y'all to learn from my mistakes. I'm not scared to show y'all my mistakes. I got 316 people watching. Yes, it does bleed through. Can you see it? See that right there? Probably can see it through the camera, but you can. I can see it. I'm gonna do the shirt over again. I'm glad I got another shirt. But I gotta do this over again. Okay. So yes, it does bleed through, honey. The other shirt was thinner than this and didn't bleed through. So sublimation is you'll get you'll never know what's gonna happen with sublimation. So yes, put some paper between your shirts. But you know what I did on gray shirts. Gray shirts is not gonna bleed through. Only white shirts. Because gray shirts is gray. So here's a gray shirt. <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyway. Because watch is going to bleed through. Come on, video. So I'm going to do her first. I'm going to go ahead and do the bibs first. Yeah, I'm just saying. I, like I was telling her, somebody asked me that before. They said, do I use butcher paper? I said, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I never had a shirt bleed through before. Never. And sometimes I do use butcher paper. And most of the time I do use it for white shirts. I just forgot that time. But um, I did I did it on my other shirt and it didn't bleed through. But and I didn't do it and it bleed through. So I will be doing this shirt over later. So let's go ahead and do this. This is for the bib. Okay. I got, like I said, I got a um a video that I'm gonna be. I, I'm not done with it. I'm um I gotta um edit it. Um, I went to uh, uh Joanne Fabric, and I um I really have to cut this because I, it's not gonna show the whole bib anyway. I'm just doing it just to be doing it. And I got some polyester fabric. So I will be showing a video of how I found my polyester fabric, what kind of, pep, how, what kind of fabric it was. And I will be uploading it up tomorrow, okay? This is a, it's a real short video, but it's still telling y'all, showing you my, my Hobby Lobby store. 
my Joann store. I'm sorry. I went to Joann's today and I bought me some polyester fabric to do these bibs with. So I will be showing you that video soon. I will be uploading it tomorrow because don't forget, Joann's do have a, fa uh, a sale today for Memorial Day. That's this whole, this, this whole weekend. Today, tomorrow for Memorial Day. So go check out Joann's. They got real good deal, discounts, deals on here. I was just showing y'all. This shirt didn't bleed through. Okay. Thin shirt didn't bleed through. But like I said, yes, please put paper on there. I just forgot. This shirt didn't bleed through either. It's a cricket shirt. It didn't bleed through, but it has some shadowing done because don't know. Sometimes it happens. Yeah, it happens. So make sure you have a backup shirt. Cause I don't I did the same thing I did with this shirt. It didn't do nothing. It didn't, it didn't mess up, but this shirt did. It's probably like I said, it's probably a picture. Okay. What you mean how fast they ship? My I usually ship out things after I do it. It takes about five or seven days. I basically do an order five to seven days and then the post office probably three days. Um, I'm looking for the bib. Okay. So with this bib, I'm gonna put some buff. I'm gonna put some paper under the bib because uh, this this paper is bigger than the bib. Okay, and I want this paper, this ink to get all over my my um my P press. Okay. So this is basically some sublimation polyester fabric that I got from Joanne's today. I cut it because I'm gonna be sewing the bib together. This is the front of the bib. Okay. So I just cut it. And I'm about to go ahead and sub on this, and it's gonna. I'm gonna put it together. I'm gonna sew it together after I finish everything. And I'm gonna show y'all the video of what, what polyester fabric I use for this bib. Cover my heat press up so I'm gonna get ink everywhere. Okay. Put the pot. Put the um. I'm gonna put the um. Bib down first, or I'm gonna no. I'm gonna put the bib on top of so I can see what I'm gonna be what I'm gonna be covering with the bib. Okay. I have no Joann's but by me, so what? That's why I'm asking about the shipping. Oh, 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 oh! Their shipping should be great. I mean, I ship. Oh shoot, Charmaine! Dog on it. Ugh! <laughs> I, when I did this dang, dang it! When I did this build, I didn't realize it. Was, I mean, dog on it. I ain't gonna do this build. <laughs> so y'all gotta take it. Y'all gotta. Y'all gotta know what y'all doing. But you gotta know what you're doing when you're doing something. This bib, I made it, I, I measured the bib right, but I didn't put into account of the how big he was to put on the bib. So now his ear hanging off the dang on hole of the bib, right? So, with that being said, I can't sublimate this right now because I got to do this over again. So see, I measured the bib, and the bib is eight, um, eight and a half by 12, so I made sure the, pe the paper was big enough, but I forgot to, to put make sure that the dog on dang going to be in there. The Mickey Mouse is going to be in there, so he's not in the bib. So I can't do that. Then if I bring this bib all the way up to cover him, let me turn it this way and see. No, I can't do it that way. It's going to be upside down. So if I bring it up, then, then the arms of the um, bib are going to be too long. So what I need to do is make this bib a little bit longer. I mean, this this picture, this uh, print a little bit longer. So it's got to come way up here so it can be able to cover this, okay? So I can't do this bib today, y'all. Mickey, it was too big. So see? But I could put this. I already, put, I already did the shirt. And it's too long to put on the shirt. But I could use this for a uh, mouse pad. So I'm not gonna let this paper go to waste. So we're gonna get a mouse pad I'll be right back. I think a mouse it would be perfect for a mouse pad. So I'm gonna do a mouse pad on this, okay? How about that? What y'all think about that? Ooh, we're going to onesies. Thank you. Thank you. I'm putting on a onesie. Thank you, whoever said that. I didn't see your name, but thank you. I don't think I have any sublimate, any polyester onesies, but dang, I will. Oh, I wish I did. This would be good for him. I can just get this to the baby. But I don't have any polyester onesies. I don't think I bought any. Did I buy? I'll buy one. And I just I'll keep this for that. Okay, so that's a good idea. Instead of using a mouse pad, that's a big sheet of paper. That's be wasted if I use a mouse pad. So if I use a onesie, I can cover the whole onesie up with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Whoever said that, y'all be thinking. So let me see. I'm going to see if the little girl, the other one, will fit on this one. Oh, she's too big, too, y'all. So I'm going to put her on a onesie, too. I got to check my inventory. I might have a onesie. I might have some something. Because I know I think I bought some. Because I know I bought some for my granddaughter. See, it's too big. So that ain't gonna work. So next time I know to make it smaller. Um, dang it. You gotta make her real smaller. And then I just make the picture. Yeah, this would be easy to do. Let's, let's just make the Mickey about. I gotta make sure you measure them. I gotta measure the um because this, this one right here, I made this myself. This was the background, the wallpaper, and this is her I put on top of her. So this one I can fix. I can just make her, I can measure from here. Wait. I can measure from here to here. That's how big I'm going to make her, okay? And just put her right in the middle of the paper because I can, I can move her. But on this one, I can't move him 
because I didn't make this. This didn't come with this. So, um, I don't know how I'm going to make, I think I'm going to have to make him smaller. But then if I make this smaller, the paper going to be, the paper, I mean, if I make this smaller, the paper going to be smaller. Because it's all connected. I can't ungroup this because this is made like this. Um, so, as if people have Photoshop, I can do it. But I don't know how to use Photoshop. So, with this one, I might have to just change both of these and not even make bills. I'm going to have to figure out something else to put on the bills. Maybe I just put a background. I do something. I figure out something. I mean, I, I just love this way this look. That's just too cute. So, that was going to be for that. But I'm going to put them on bibs. Like somebody told me to put them on bibs. So, now let's get to this last, this last, last, last photo. And I'm so scared because I do not want any. I'm going to let y'all know I'm scared, okay? But I don't want no, no, no um, white ghosting on her face, okay? I've done this picture before and I have had ghosting on her before because it's all this, this brown right here. It can mess up. So let me knock on some wood or something. All this brown, all this beauty right here. You know, we don't want to mess her face up. Yeah, I could, try, I could do all that. Um, I could trace. Yeah, I could trace the um, on Mickey Mouse. But sometimes when you trace. Oh, I can, uh, I can do a lot. Yeah, I can do a lot with this. I can take it off. Um, but I'll do it late another time. But that's so cute. It came together. So I can probably remove the background and I can trace it on, on silhouette. Cause it has it has a nice back it has a nice um uh border on it so yeah that will be able to be traced that's good I didn't see that sometimes when you have a good border it's hard to trace um um, um silhouette okay so let me get her gray shirt she went to gray I'm gonna go ahead and put some paper in between it because I'm not about to mess this shirt up is this clean yeah, this is clean because I didn't use that so I'm gonna put some paper even though it's gray. I'm gonna put the shirt. I'm, I'm gonna get put, even though, like I said, some most of the time you won't fade through gray because it's gray. But I'm gonna put it in there this time anyway because I want to make sure everything is good. So, cause remember I told y'all that one time I did it live and I was doing a pillow, but that was satin. That was satin, a satin pillowcase, and I didn't use the um, I didn't. That's what happened. I I was doing a pillowcase, a satin pillowcase, and I was doing a learning pillow on live, and it messed up. The color wouldn't go through the same way that shirt was looking. That's how my pillow was looking. It was looking ghosted, right? Somebody said, use your Teflon. I used my Teflon. It was perfect. It was perfect. So that's why I started using my Teflon sheet after that video. And now it did the same thing to that shirt with a Teflon paper. Piece of with Teflon in it. So things going to, it's bound to happen no matter what you do. But I never used a pillow. And I probably even have a pillow in here somewhere. Girl, I told you I'll be buying stuff and I'll be using it. What is a pillow? What the pillow is made out of? Cause I have this. Um, what is the pillow made out? of? It's made out of sil this is silicone, I think. I got this from Condi, and I wonder what this is. I know this is. I use this for um, the metal stuff. Like we're using like any kind of metal, like the um, anything metal you can use this with. What's the pillow made out of? <laughs> Angela said, "My teacher Charmaine. She, yeah, I did teach y'all that, didn't I? I'll be forgetting though. I forget." I would. I do have video to tell y'all to make sure y'all do that because look what I just did. I just went through a shirt. So I teach y'all, but sometimes I don't use do my go by my own teaching. But today I'm going to go by my own teaching because I never faded a shirt before. Or not, I never went through a shirt before. And I think I'd be lying when I say that. I don't be. I don't gotta lie. I would tell you, girl. Yes, I'd be going through shirts. No, I never did that before. And sometimes I forget to use the, the um. I forget to use the dang on um, picture paper. So I'm doing it right now. Can I get some more likes for showing y'all my mistakes? I got two, 300 people watching. 273 likes. What time is it, y'all? Because I got to get off of this video so I can go ahead to my next video. I'm going to be talking about all my Cricut machines and what I like about them, what I don't like about them. And if I'm going to get that new, 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 I'm going to get that new, new. So all you got to do is cut some butcher paper up and put it in between the shirt. And make sure it's the same size as your image so it won't leave the shirt. Like I just did about five minutes ago. So Lord knows I'm scared. I'm, like I said, I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'll tell you when I'm scared. I'm always scared when I try new stuff. But I, like I said, I haven't did this image in a long time. And I've know I've done this image a lot. And I have had shadow, the skin complexion, because it's so big. Her face is so big. And it does show it sometimes it mess up. So I hope I'm just hoping and praying that it's not gonna mess up in this video. Um, let me go ahead and let roll this thing right quick. One thing I did so far was put the paper in between. I'm going to let roll it and then I'm going to go ahead and press the moisture out of it. 
All parts of sublimation. Let me show y'all. Let me tell you my ink. My ink is um. Hold on, let me get it real quick. Hold on. This is gonna be under my video. Y'all probably know who. Everybody know what I what I use. Y'all what ink I use. Everybody know everything but me. I be forgetting. But everybody be like, yeah, Charmaine, this is what you got. This is this machine you got. I'm like, thank you, cause I don't be knowing. I be I was forgetting what order what um embroidery machine I was buying. Everybody else knew though. <laughs> cause they love me. They follow me and they help me out. Can't find a dang on ink. Um, I do use ASAP, also I mean ASAP. Um, Cosmo Ink too. I use this ink before, but he always sell out, so I always had to go to um Amazon and buy the ink that I about to tell y'all what I got, but I can't remember the name of it is. Um, I use Cosmo. Yes, but I don't have Cosmo. I'm not using it right now. What is that ink called? Dang. I'll tell y'all in a minute. I just couldn't find it. I'm getting tired, y'all. I don't know why. Let's step in today. Ink X Pro. Thank you. I just why I wait for somebody to tell y'all. Ink X Pro. I use Ink X Pro. And then you get that from Amazon. Or you can go to inkxpro.com. Thank you, Angela. No spot was going to tell me what I use. I couldn't think of the name. I'm just heat pressing. I'm just heating the shirt. Y'all moisture out real quick. About five seconds. Okay. Now we ready. Okay. I'm gonna put this beauty on here. And we're going to make her work. We're going to make sure she's going to be good for this shirt so I can be done with this video. And on to the next. Who's going to join me for the next video? Let me see. Say me if you're going to join me for the next video. Or should I just take a nap? Or should I just go ride my bike? What time is it? I did want to ride my bike today. It's a beautiful day outside. What time is it, y'all? Y'all want me to ride my bike or y'all want me to um <laughs> stay for the next video? <laughs> The size of the print I told you, I showed y'all so you got to read the video look at the video over again. I think it's like a 10 by something, but I everything on this video, so you can rewatch this video, okay? I told y'all all the sizes, everything. I don't know by heart what it is now because I already printed out, but if you watch the video over again, you'll be able to see the size of the print and how I printed everything out, okay? 1 15 p.m. Dang, no, it's not 1 15 here. I wish it was. Shut oh, I don't know. I can look at my phone. Six and a half. Everybody saying me, 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 me. That means I got to stay, 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 stay. And I can't ride my bike. I can stay right. I'm like, my next video, I have to take a nap. She's taking a nap. Okay. Ride your bike. Get your exercising. No, it's not an exercise, honey. It's a motorcycle. <laughs> Ain't no exercise on that thing. That's just fun, fun, fun. It's a three-wheel three motorcycle. I have me a, a um, spider. Canyon spider. So I ain't gonna be exercising. I'm just gonna be looking cute, girl. Oh, you've been sick. I hope you feel better. Oh, this is really, really too high. So let me bring this down some. Three inches down from the neck. Line. Seven feet. It's about 715 New York. Yeah, I think we need the same time frame. 715. So 17 is not bad. So as long as I'm out here, as long as I do my video by 9 o'clock, I'm going to ride my bike, y'all. Go, go to get me. Ride my bike. So I'm gonna go on my other video about an hour. And I always say that then y'all be having me on there forever. So I'm just measuring it. I'm going from scene to picture where the picture started off at. And it's same, it's um so go ahead and center it now. It's three inches from the neck. This is how I do it. You can do it whatever you want to, but this is how I do my shirts. I measure it from the scene to the, the beginning of the picture. When the beginning start the picture started at long part of the picture, okay. And it seems to work for me so far. Okay. So y'all pray with me. Lord, let this shirt turn out right. So I don't got to do it over. This shirt I got to do over. I'll do that tomorrow. It's not due. I don't got to ship them out until Monday. So I got one more extra. Well, tomorrow is Monday, I mean. But I don't got, I mean, I ship it out tomorrow. So I got enough time to work on everything. So all my stuff going out tomorrow. So anybody order anything for me, the shirts, the passport cover, I'll do that tomorrow morning. I'm going to make all this stuff ship out tomorrow. Okay, I'm not going to use the, I'm not going to use the what's name on this tip right now because I don't want to mess it up. So let's hope and pray that she ain't gonna have no. Uh -oh, huh. Let me scoot this up some because it's kind of the edge. She ain't gonna have no problems with her face, her her melanin. Oh, that's cool.
Oh, my battery going low. See, my battery going low on my, um, no, Tuesday. No, Tuesday, Memorial Day. No, tomorrow's Monday. Tomorrow, Memorial Day. Don't be getting me all confused. I'll go back to work on Tuesday. Thank you, Dimps. Yep, that's my print. My Yep, 16 by 24. I think I ain't see that. Um. Oh! Oh, yeah, so I'm, oh, okay. It don't, yeah, okay. I can still take it, though. I can still take it to the post office because I got my own printing stuff. So I'm going to print everything out today. I mean, Monday, and still take it to print until it can be ready for Tuesday. So I'm going to get it out of here tomorrow. Yeah, I know, but I still can print out my labels and stuff and put them in there so it can be ready for the first pickup on my Tuesday. Because on the what's the name, on my um, Etsy page, it's saying uh, ship out on the first. Well, not on the first, but on Mario Day, I think. Okay. See how this went through? Even through this paper. Even my way through this paper. You can see that real good, can't y'all? That's a lot of ink. I think I got her from um Dang, who's that girl name? I, I get a lot of stuff from her. I think I got this from her. Hold on, let me just lift this up a little bit so I can see her face. If not, I'm gonna do it again. Oh my god. Look at that melanin. Lin. Melanin. Melanin, a a a a a a. I got on a dance. Oh, that's cute. Uh, oh, let me show y'all. I got her from dang. What's that girl name? Coco Twins. Check Coco, Coco Twins dot com. Check her. I think I got it from her. I'm not sure though, but check out Coco Twins. She got a lot of good stuff. Anyway, look at this. Oh, 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 oh. Beautiful. That brown came out. That brown was even better than the other brown that I just used. What other brown I was using? That is cute, honey. Cute. And you know what else? You know what I'm saying? Listen to me. The paper is also good to use paper in between your shirts because it's setting on top of it. So it's giving you more color too, okay? So if you put paper on here, it's sitting on top. You know what I'm saying? So basically it's not going, this ink is not going through both sides of the shirt. It's staying right here on this paper. So that's even helping you out getting more color, okay? You know, if y'all understand what I'm saying, does it make sense? Even the paper will hold the color up to the, to the shirt. So that's another real reason why to use paper on the shirt. Not just because of bleed, because also it can help, it can stand the ink up, I guess. <laughs> Whatever, if that makes sense. But that's got kind of yo, girl. Look at that girl. Look at that girl. Ow, ow, ow. She is uh, cute, 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 cute. So this is what I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm done, y'all. I'm done. So let me show y'all what we did today. Sorry about the little wobbiness. But just, I be getting excited when my stuff turning out. I be scared. I always, I be scared. I be going to cry when I get in the car. I know where the video came from. I wish I had some dang on onesies, y'all. I know I bought some onesies, but I don't know what I did with them. I messed this shirt up. This is my son's shirt, but it's cool. I'll show y'all my mistakes. That's cute, though. He gonna wear that thing. He gonna wear that thing. This shirt is done, but I'm gonna do it over because I faded through it. Like I said, I never fade through shirts, but like I said, sometimes I forget, sometimes I don't. And I did this time, which I should have remembered that part, because this is a thin white shirt. See how this brown, her other brown look much better. This, it's, like I said, it's the image, though. The image of how they made this shirt. That other brown look much better than this brown. It's like a little, like a khaki but that brown right here, bam, that's brown for real. So this is the image. This is the image. Her brown is light. Like, it's not really a dark brown. But it's still cute. She cute, though. She cute. Okay. And then this one I did, which came out perfect. Perfect for my son. So these shirts that we did today, y'all. And I was going to try to do them other images. But I'm going to go try to find <sighs> them t-shirts i know i had some stuff in them. i get my i used to buy stuff because my, my granddaughter i bought some t-shirts i had a baby um basket full of stuff you know what i might have it in here let me check this real quick y'all because i'm gonna if i do have them i might as well go ahead and do it now while the heat press is on i got a bucket full of stuff that i sell i'm gonna just use for samples and i think i might have a sublimation i mean i might have a onesie in here just one. If I have one, that'd be cool. I can just do one now. I'm mad that them bibs didn't work, y'all. I'm super duper mad about that. But you know what? Oh, that's too long to I can see I can do it on the shirt. But that's too long to put on the shirt. It'd be perfect for onesies. So let's just check this back. This, bus, this basket right here. You can use, yes, polyester, 100% polyester. 
Oh, honey, is this polyester right here? No, nah, these I got these from Hobby Lobby. Um, you gonna use hundred percent polyester? Well, you know, Cricut got. Oh, Cricut got. Um, I'm gonna talking crazy. Cricut got um onesies for um polyester. I forgot about that. I might. Go, what time is it? Is it eight o'clock yet? Oh, it's Sunday. Everything closed. Um, you know, I see. I like to do stuff right away. I like to do stuff right now. Like, <laughs> I want to do it today, but I had to wait till tomorrow. Just go get some um onesies from um. Ooh, is this polyester? No, it's not polyester. It's embroidery. Get some onesies tomorrow, and do those um tomorrow. If I can't find them today, I'm sorry. I'm just moving this camera all around. I'm looking in this bucket for some onesies. I know I bought some. Ooh, this is a um. Anything 100% polyester or 65% polyester with cotton. Okay, but it's got to be at least 65% of polyester for you to be able to um, sublimate on it, okay? Dang, going to knock all these ones in here. But they're not from Cricut and they're not from, um, I used to get some of my blanks from, what's their name? Um, I know I got some, y'all. I'm tripping. I know I bought some. And watch when I get this live, I'm going to find them. I'm sorry, y'all, if I'm wobbly in the camera. Okay, so let me get off this video. I'm a, um, what's the name of that place I get my onesies from? Oh, I got this, this hook right here. I could have been hooked y'all up right here. <laughs> right, my face. I'm looking in this bucket right here so I can find. I got all kind of, this is all my sample stuff that I be using. Tutus that I bought. Um, so I can put in my samples on my site, my website. Because I didn't know how to make tutus back then. Now I know how to make them. To make my own, but so I got a lot of blanks and stuff in here that I'm not gonna put on my site. That I'm gonna be using for samples because they're not the size and stuff that I need. And like, I wouldn't sell these. These, I just use these for samples. But these are not polyester. This is all my baby stuff. So I don't know what I did with those polyester T-shirts. Did I sell them or did I give them away to somebody? So I haven't used none of them. And I know I bought some. Girl, that is crazy. What is this? Nope. Okay. So let me go ahead and any questions right now before I get off this live so I can go. I'm about to go ahead and take a 15 minute break. And then I'll be back to show you all of them. I'm going to have everything. Oh, y'all. Look at this. See? And I know I got some more, y'all. I got one. Cricky one. I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. But I know I got more and I know. <laughs> I know about more cricket onesies. Dang it. That's the size. Do I, oh, that's not the size I need, though. But I'm going to still do it, though. Um, I got one onesie. Six to nine months. It might not even be. It might be too small. So we're about to see how, how that goes. Dang it. I really wish I had a 12-month one because I can get it to the, tw the ones for twins. Instead of giving them bids, I'm going to give them, I'm giving them, I can give them that. But I can't find no more onesies. Um, we're gonna do that real quick, y'all. Look at the dress I made. Told you I do I sold two. I made this little dress. Sorry, the light is bad, but I made that. I made this bonnet. I make bonnets too on my sites. All kind of different things. Anything you want in your bonnet, I can make it for you. So check out my sites, y'all. Look at some more ruffle socks I made. <sighs> Ugh. Okay. There's all my samples and stuff right here on my, my bag full of samples I made. But I only got one onesie, so work for that. Y'all still on here with me, huh? Y'all still up on here with me. Y'all still up on here with me. So let me before this video go, I'm gonna go ahead and thank everybody for my super chats real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and say your name again. And we're gonna be done with the video after I do this shirt. So we're gonna say thank you to where did it go? Oh, I guess I'm gonna show me again who, who they are. But thank y'all, everyone who sent me super chats. I appreciate you all for all the donations going to this channel to help this channel out. Um, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. Okay, and be stay tuned for more videos. I will be doing more videos. These are all I gotta ship these out to. I'll ship this. Well, I gotta go ahead and put everything together. Oh, let me show y'all other my other um orders I got. I gotta be shipped out. She's done. I'm gonna fold her up real quick. Not, I'm, it's gonna be, not gonna be perfect. I'm just kinda get her, but she won't get wrinkled. Just a little bit. This is not how I fold her, okay? She's gonna be much better than this after I fix her, fix her up. But I don't want this video to be going too much longer. So I got this um, order I got. So I'm not gonna show y'all y'all her day names, but 
I got my little tutu socks that's going out tomorrow. Well, I'm going to ship them out tomorrow. So that's that order right there. I got to put them in her little bag. And then I got the little patches. That's still, this is a patch I got to ship out all in some one order. This patch is not done. I just got to cut it out. But I was going to show you all how nice those patches look, y'all. Then I got to put this stuff on the back of it so it can be, um, so you can iron it on your clothes, jacket or whatever. Cut this out. And then I put it in my purple mailer. Put the invoice in there, which is right here. I put thank you card in there. And I also put the patches in like a nice little, nice pretty bag first before I put it in the purple mailer. Then this shirt goes in the envelope and everything in a bag, a shirt bag first. And then they get a thank you card. They get everything they need in their card. But she's getting, she got, um, she got to get these too. She getting this. I got to do this tomorrow. She getting the, um, luggage tags and passport. Okay, so she getting that done too. So I got to put all this stuff in there. And then this is a, a order by itself, Black Lives Matter. I got this on my site too, Charming Gal. No, this is on a Ray of Sunshine Boutique. It's satin inside. You can do your hair real nice um, for shedding. And then this is, I mean, for falling out or whatever. And this is the Black Lives Matter. And I put everything in here. Put in the bag. Put her thank you card and her invoice all in my purple mailer. So that's in, those orders I got to get done. I got another order right here. Another luggage tag I got to get done. Uh, and then I got uh, another luggage tag. And she want a bag to get done. So those is all going to be shipped out. Except for that bag. The bag is not ready yet. But everything else will be shipped out on tomorrow. I'm taking it to the post office tomorrow, but they'll uh, ship it out on Tuesday. I just want to make sure everything's out. So these are my orders, y'all. Thank y'all for y'all business. I know people's watching my videos that um, support me and my business. So I appreciate you all. Let's do this onesie. And we out of here. And stay tuned because I'm going to take a 15 minute break. Give me something to drink because my, my mouth is dry. And I'm going to do, I'm going to have all of my Cricut machines set out on my table. And we're going to talk about them. You have to ask me questions about them. And, gonna, and I'm going to let y'all know if I'm getting that new machine or not. The new Cricut. It's out to, it just came out. Okay? Y'all said y'all was going to want me Y'all want me to do that video. So I'm going to do that video. Hopefully it won't be that long. It's like it's going to be too small too. It's six by nine. Six, this is not going to work probably. If it does, Mickey going to be taking up the whole shirt. Oh, it's going to work, y'all. But you know it ain't gonna, ain't gonna be on this, ain't gonna cover the sleeves, y'all. I don't think I wanna do that. I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do that. Let me show y'all. Hold on. Cause if I, I can get this is eleven by seventeen paper. So if you wanna do a onesie, you wanna use a thirteen by eleven paper. Okay, thirteen by nineteen paper to use a, do a onesie. Because if you do this paper, um, or I could if I would have made it a little bit wider. If I would have made it wider, it would have worked. Let me see. Nah, nah, that's short. That's too. That's too. That's too short. Let me, just, let me measure the, the length of the, um, let me measure this to see how long it is, how wide it is. So from here to here, this is 11. So the paper is 11. So it would have been really, really, really tight. It wouldn't have had, it would have been a little bit of white on this t-shirt. Okay. If I would have did 11 by 13 paper. Okay. Cause it's 11. So you gotta be a little bit over 11 to make it fit the whole shirt. Cause it's stretched. So you gotta at least have at least a, a 11 and a half by 11 and a half by ooh, 11 and a half by 14 okay 14 and a half to make it fit on this onesie this is this is a small one this is six by nine too okay so let me show you how it's gonna look if i would have put it on here like this the sleeves would be out and i don't want I, when i do a onesie i want to do the whole thing i don't want the sleeves to be out i want none of the front to be white i want it all to be color okay so that's why i'm not doing that okay so that would have been cool. Just no, that's still too short for this part too. That's still coming out. So nope, I won't be doing this, y'all. Like, like I said, y'all could do it. Um, y'all could do it like this, and just take the sleeves. And the sleeves would be white. That could work like that. But I really don't like. I really want my sleeves to be in there in that in that in that um with the cut. I want the whole thing to be. So y'all could cover it like this, and don't put the sleeves in there. What y'all think? When y'all do one, this is my first time doing all, all over onesies. See, it's my first time. For, I'm not, I don't do everything, y'all, so I do have first time for things. Do y'all think, maybe y'all, would y'all go ahead and do it without, I'm going to just do it on the video. Because this, this is just, this is six, six to nine. Nine, about to waste this shirt. What would y'all do? Oh, I can't see y'all comments. Hold on, let me see what's going on. What happened to y'all? Where y'all at? Would y'all do it without the sleeves or would y'all do it with the sleeves? I know. She said somebody said I just quickly should support me. Yes, do it like that unless you're doing the back too. Do it like what? 
Got the sleeves. Thank you, Lord. Your energy and your generation is very. Thank you, thank you. I need to join your group. Yes, yes, yes. Brown girls, proper cricket. Love you, girl. Thank you for it. Thank you, Dimps. Sorry, I ain't seen none of these before. Thank you, Queen. You are Thank you, thank you. I want to thank you for all. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Iron, uh, uh, what? Yeah, I need to get, but I got a, this amount, it just, I mean, I can go up and down, it's got to lower, I got to lower down. What is the Arkin mark? Arkin? What is that? Charmaine, look. The shirt I just did, um, Miss Parker, was a large. For that, my root shirt is a large. Was it? My root shirt was a medium, I'm sorry. That was a medium, and the other one was a large. The gray one was a large. Yeah, well, yeah, I think so, uh, too, Angela. I think you should do it with the arms, with the sleeves on it. Yeah, so I'm not gonna mess with it. Um, try it with your way your first. So that's it, y'all, for this video. I'm going to um, cause I can't do anything with that. I do not want to make uh, dang. I was gonna put this on a mouse pad, but people might not buy this mouse pad. I don't know about using this as a mouse pad. Um. You know what? I could because I can't use this for anything else. I can't put it on the t-shirt because it's not long enough. I can't put it on the um bib because it's too big. So y'all yeah, gonna go ahead and get some of my pad. Y'all wanna see the mouse pad? Say yes if y'all do or no. If y'all want me to go ahead and do the um the other video. I already know what y'all gonna say. But go ahead and tell me. Yeah, I know I can do that too, y'all. Yeah, I can do that part too. Print it twice. But yeah, because this part right here is all I need right here for real. So I print this right here, this piece right here to, but, but then make this wider right here, make it wider. Come, cause this can't go wider if I get 13 by 19 paper, okay? This will go wider, this will go wider, that's fine. But the thing is, this, this he is too big. So um for my bib and for the t-shirt, I can do it. Just all, all I gotta do is print it wider, it, it'll work, it'll work. Print it wider and then um go down. So 13 by 19 paper will work for this, okay? So you could do this once on 13 by 19 paper, just make it bigger. Okay, let's see what y'all saying about this. Uh, what y'all want me to do? I know you guys gonna say yes. It's gonna take five seconds. Let me go get these. Let me go get these. Um, l l uh, what they call? It's gonna take five seconds to do it, y'all. But I gotta make sure my heat press is up, and I'll be right back. Let me, let me go get them real quick. I know where they at. Okay, y'all gonna be mad at me. I can't do that. Only ones I have is these. I thought I had the square ones, and these are smaller, so they ain't gonna fit on this. They ain't gonna fit. But you know what? It might still be cute with just a half of it. Let me see. Let me just see. No, they ain't gonna work. You only got these mouse pads. The, the square ones I have probably would have fit, but these are too small. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Nope. Dang, it's right, right, right. Oh, I can do this one. I can do this one. And I don't gotta worry, but I don't wanna have to put the Gucci word in there. The Gucci don't have to go in there. It just could be the um the thing. So y'all yeah, could do it. I could do this one. But her, the big girl, she I made her too big. She way too big. But I could put her face in. She probably be cute with her face in it with her Afro puffs. Let me see. Ooh, I'll do both of them. But like I said, most of it's gonna be off. Oh, how to, oh, I could put them on the bonnet too. That'd be cute on the bonnet. That would be cute on the bonnet too. That would be cute on a bonnet, but she way too big. Like if I, I got it, whatever, whoever, wherever I do her over again, I'm gonna have to make her smaller because I just I spread her out too big. I spread her out too big. He he's a perfect size. He's a perfect size. He's he's size, but I did I made her way too big. But I can still put her big head and effort puffs on this um on this on this thing. So I got a, I got a lot of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now, y'all, and I'll be done with y'all with this video. So this is how you you use basically sublimate on the um. I don't want this thing a video to be that long hour and a half i think that's not bad okay so what you do with this you basically just make it basically match up your image so right here you will see how i'm gonna go up as far as i can so i can cover that ear up right so i'm gonna go up so i can cover that ear make sure that ear is on everything and then down here you will see 
I don't want that Gucci to be in there because it's going to be halfway in there. So I'm going to go down far as far until before I touch the Gucci. So the Gucci won't be in there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Dimps. Let me move it. This, this, oh, see that foot is out there. Let me move it down. I don't know. It's gonna, the Gucci going to be on there a little bit. I'm going to try to cut it around the circle so I can see what's going to be on there. But it doesn't matter. Cause, there it is right there. That foot will be okay because it's like the hip foot going to be like it's hanging off. That will be okay. Okay. Both of the feet going to be hanging off. But it's a, it's a mouse pad. If I cover the Gucci, his, his ear going to be off. And it's going to be ugly. It's going to be off. So it's better to have the shoe off. That light is too dark, too bright. It's better to have the um shoe off than the ears off, okay? I mean, halfway off. So I'm going to go up like this. About right here. And do it like that. And make sure that Gucci, that word going to be in there. Because if you do, it's going to be like, what is that word supposed to be? And with her... I'm going to go just like this. I'm going to get her, as long as I get her ever puffs in there, and that little top of her shirt, like this part right here, that's cool. That's 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 cool. As long as I don't get her shoe in there. She Gucci. She Gucci. She Louie. <laughs> okay? That's how I'm going to do with these, these little kiddos right here. I'm going to put them both on the same time so we can get done with this video. Okay, what you got to do with, but you got to make sure you tape it, then you got to flip it over to the back. You can't have this on the top. You got to have this on the back like this. You got to have it laid down like this, okay? But what I'm going to do is tape it first and then turn it. But I'm going to cut it out too so all this ink won't be all on my thing. Press. So I'm going to just go ahead and center it the way I want it before I do it. And then I'll be... I'm sorry about this light, but y'all could it was too bright earlier. Okay. So I'm going to make sure I center it the way I want it. About right here. Make sure her Afro Pups is in there. Make sure her shirt is in there and not her shoes. And make sure the whole image in there for like the, the background image is going to be in there too. But I don't want her shoe in there. Okay. That should be good right there. Tape it. So it won't move. I'm going to cut around just so all this ink won't be on my press. Even though I can just put some paper on that press. It's cool, but I just want to get some of this paper off so it won't be in my way. Anything I say before I cut this? <laughs> what you guys say? Either way, with sleeves, that's perfect. I would be cute on a bib cloth, a birth cloth. Yes, girl, y'all gonna make me lose my mind up in here, up in here. Do I have any um birth cloths? Pops, probably. No, I can make some though. I can make some polyester bib birth cloths too. So that'd be this would be perfect. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this mouse pad. Hopefully it'll sell. If not, I mean, all these kids doing um online selling, I mean, online school, somebody might buy it. I just like to make stuff that I know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell instead of just wasting it. But even though you're not supposed to sell this stuff, but sorry, Louie. Or I can give it away. Okay. Because everybody going to online school, even though I don't ever be seeing them using mouse pads, but yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to make sure that I don't have that Gucci word in there because if I do the Gucci word, it's going to be off. So I'm going to make sure I, the feet going to be hanging off of it, which will still be cute because it's a picture. Okay. So I'm just taping it on here. I should have got the moisture out of the dang on heat, the thing. I forgot to get the moisture out of there, y'all. So don't forget when y'all do it, get the moisture out the um heat, the, the pads. Mouse pads. Cut an extra paper off so all this ink won't be all over the place when I um print it. But I'm still put some butcher paper on it under it so it won't mess up my um heat press lining. I got it taped on there so it won't move. And then after this one, we are really done, y'all. I don't like my videos to be that long because I don't want people to be like, I'm not watching that video it's too long. But I really want people to watch it because you learn a lot from these lives because you get to ask the questions, you get to ask questions, you get to. And, they, and then some of the questions y'all be asking, they might want to ask, so they can't ask, but y'all ask it for them. And they'll learn for something. So I like doing lives, but the only thing I don't like lives is I can't edit my mistakes. Even though I show y'all my mistakes anyway, it's a lot. I mean, I can make this video much shorter if it wasn't a live. But I like talking to y'all. So we're talking to the camera. <laughs> okay, so that's, um, hope I didn't move this dog on thing. I don't think I did. Okay. So with this, I'm going to use a Teflon sheet. Cause like I said, tough on sheets work best with other things than t-shirts. Okay? Like I said, it really works with metal. I mean, the stuff that you use, like the le le leather and stuff, this is leather. 
like the sublimation leather or whatever you want to call it. I can't think of the name of it, but you know, y'all know what I mean. Make sure this is all in the press. I got everything down, y'all. Okay. Oh shoot. Sorry, y'all was froze. Sorry. Oh, you could use spray too. I'm sure you had to spray. Okay, hold on. I I'll show you. I got the tape. My phone about to go dead, so yes, I will be charging my phone for at least 20 minutes before I do the next video because it's about to go dead. But you know what? I can oh, about to say, oh shoot. Oh shoot. I gotta untighten this. Um I'm about to say I could do my I meant to check this before I did this, y'all. Y'all forgot to tell me. Check it. Check it to make sure it's gonna be yeah, alright. It might be shadow. It might be. Okay, that's cool. Oh my tongue is dry. I'm talking crazy. Let me show y'all the spray. The spray works very, very well, y'all. I got this from Condi. Condi sent this to me for free. It's called um Dytran. Dye what is it called? Yeah, Dytran spray uh, pro spray. It works really well. I use these for my um I use these for my um passport covers and stuff. I just spray it and you don't have to worry about putting no tape on there. I love this spray. I use it for all my leather. I used to use it for that. I couldn't use it for that, but I forgot about it. But for my um my what is it called? All of my um passports and stuff, I use this. I'm supposed to show y'all my I'm supposed to show my y'all blanks too, y'all. Oh, it's only a little bit. I'm going to show y'all these blanks real quick that I got from Condi. Condi, Condi, Condi. Go to Condi.com. Ask for Chloe Smith. She will give you a discount. But say my name. Condi.com. Her name is Chloe Smith. And say Charmaine Galloway. And she'll give y'all some discounts. Okay. This is an apron. Really nice. I'm going to do this apron one day. Sublimation on the white part. Oh, it's like it's burning. I don't need no more extra for that. It's like it's burning. Ooh, yeah, it's burning. Oh, shoot, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to put the butcher paper on there. Told y'all I'd be talking so much and I can't think what I'm doing. But it's cool. It didn't go through anything. Y'all ready to see? I'm going to let it I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. I'm scared. These are from Die Trans. Passport covers that I'm doing. I love them. These are um, Apple Watch bands. Die Trans. Let me go ahead and do this right quick for her. Oh, 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 girl. Mm. You go ahead and do it because I don't know. I don't want to sit too long. The, t the paper might stick stick on there. That happened before to me. That is too cute. Y'all be getting loud, don't I? When I get excited. It's hot, y'all. But that's beautiful. Look at her. I would definitely be able to sell vents. Ain't that cute, y'all? Let me see what y'all say. Ain't that cute? Too cute. What, Shane? You need a charger? Oh, thank you, son. My son. This, oh, no, I got a charger, Shane. I got to put on the charger. I got to put on the charger. Thank you, son, for looking out for me. He's like, you need a charger, mom? He did that before. Make sure you take the dogs out, though. Um, Cute, honey. Cute. But she look, I, she look weird. Like, she look, because <laughs> the way she's standing. But it's not, it's not, you can move this any kind of way you want to on your desk. But she look funny because the way she's standing, the way, but you don't see her shoes. But I didn't want to put anything else in there because her shoes would have been halfway on, halfway off. So that's why I did like that. Let's see him. See how he's doing. My son might like this. You know, he don't use a mouth either. But that picture, I just love this picture. This picture is so cute. Like I said, I got it off of Google. I just went up to, I went to put in Gucci. What is this, Gucci? Yeah, I put in Gucci background. And that's, 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 that's fire. That is too cute. See? So now we did T-shirts. And we did mouse pads today. Cricket. Oh, no. We did sublimation today. Sublimation t-shirts and sublimation mouse pad. This is really cute, y'all. Um, I told y'all we, we did. We used her um, paper on some of the shirts that I did. Let me show y'all her again. Please go check her out. She's good. It's good paper. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna buy some from her, too. Um, go to sublimation. What is it? I can't read upside down. Subby. Subbuddies.com. Okay, go to her and get her some, get you some paper. Loved it. Love the paper, okay? Love this. This is too cute, girl. I wish now what it's gonna have. I was gonna put this on some bibs, but I couldn't do it, so I'm gonna do it again. I, was gonna, I had to, I gotta go to tomorrow. I'm gonna go to um hope they open are stores open tomorrow. They probably won't. I don't know. Yeah, they are. I'm gonna go to um somewhere and get some onesies, cricket onesies, and I'm gonna put these on their shirts tomorrow. I'm not doing a live, <laughs> but I will get some onesies and do these. I wanna get it to because their birthday was yesterday. So today so i'm gonna make sure i get them and i can send them take it to my daycare on tuesday to give them to them for the birthday but i made them some little outfits the name was jordan Jane, journey and jordan i made them some shirts and stuff already i made them some a whole outfit y'all want to see the outfit i'll show y'all my next video okay and that is all for this video so let me go charge my phone for like 20 what time is it? oh i can't see what time it is because y'all on my phone 
Leave in about 20 minutes, and I'll be back. See y'all when they get back. So don't go far. Get a snack and get some wine, y'all. It's going to be sip. We're going to be sipping this time. So get some wine. Get my wine. Get whatever y'all want to drink. We're going to sip in chats. Okay? So go get y'all wine. I'll see y'all in about 20 minutes. Bye.